time. Time. It's time, Kyle. I'm time. I'm on time. Once upon a time. <laughs> uh, how are y'all doing? Hello. How are y'all doing? Hi, everybody up Welcome. there. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to part one of our Endwalker finale stream. We will be beating this thing this week. Woo. Uh, unless something truly awful happens. Um, or let's, wonderful, or wonderful. Let's see if something truly awful happens, Kyle. Okay. Because I'm going to try and buy myself a collector's edition <laughs> uh, in T-minus one minute. Oh, per- well, that yeah, that's why we're a little early. Yeah, yeah. you got you to be Yeah, be I don't know how quickly I might have to turn this off if it asks for credit card information, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to go for it. Yeah. Are oh. you go are you going collectors? Are you collecting? Oh, here we go. Pre-order now. It is live. Oh. Looks like a minute early maybe. Oh. oh. Oh, internet's breaking. Well, I mean, I don't think it's the internet. I think it's the yeah. store. Yeah. Yeah. We should uh, be making a video about this apparently. Making a video about the store? Store broken uh, because there it goes. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Lean it worked little, out. Nice. Need a little right, Kyle. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Yep. Right. I'm trying to find you in game, but I'll stop that. I'll do that later. Yep. Uh. I had the button. Oh, wait. Here we go. <gasps> oh. Oh. I'd like to pre order now. Can, can, please, sir. Can he, can can he I, do it? Can I pre order now? Clicking more helps. It makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> is there any other buttons? No, this is all. I already own Endwalker. Give me more buttons. Do oh. the balloon thing. It broke, man. Yeah. Broke. I can think of no other, like, I can't think of a more beautiful way to start the stream than to try and buy the next expansion. <laughs> That's fair, but also, I mean, you know, a big, big, big energy towards the game. And they broke the store. Yeah. Yeah. People are. Yeah. Hey, uh, everyone watching, could you stop trying to buy no, they're not the collector's know. edition no. right now? I'd really appreciate it if everybody watching would just stop trying to buy. The collector's edition. I, I, I'd yeah. really. No. I would really. Why would they do that? It. Yeah. It, it, if you could just, just like give me like five seconds to get in there. Collectively um, pause for five. Yeah. Never. They like yeah. clicking as much as you do. I do love clicking. Hi everybody, welcome. I'm just gonna. I'm just, oh, oh! I got Ooh. a spinny boy at least. Ooh. Instead of instant kickback. Instead of instant kickback. Uh, while I, you know, yeah. Oh, oh, we're here, Kyle. Yep. We're here. Oh, yep. Well, now we're back here. This link doesn't do shit. Hmm. Hmm. You could try every time we complete a quest today. <laughs> yeah. Just give it a little click. Good to see you all here today. Hi, is something happening? I'm yeah. just trying to. I'm just trying to buy Dawn Yeah, Trail. we're just trying to get a little, um, you know, Dawn Trail action here. Yeah, yeah. It's Kyle, fun. did you ever think you'd have this many people watching your friend try and buy a collector's edition? No, but that's very specific. <laughs> so I can't say I've had that dream. Mm. Nice to see you all here. Vernacular, JJ Dan. I'm just reading the names I can see. Pothy, Doctor <laughs> Funkenstein, Gainey. Our lovely, lovely mods who are here to help out today. Thank you so much for being here, Luke. Good to see ya. Raygun girl, everybody. Not lob. Our drummer. Eagle. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do what what are we doing today? What what's the what's the cutoff for today? We are gonna be hitting up and going to Rhodes Pave today. And then we'll be right back to it Thursday. A delightful, delightful Thursday adventure to finish it all out. Yeah, it's your week day. Yeah, just for hell, I'm a uh, hell of it. I'm trying uh, Firefox in another tab. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, cause, double. Because these buttons ain't working. We got to get Katie in on it. She's the one who uh, gets uh, you all the tickets that's, for that's things. A good yeah, point. she's the one who yeah. always wins. Yeah, no, these buttons just don't seem to work. Mm. Hey, button, buttons aren't uh, buttoning. Firefox isn't working either. What what other obscure browsers can we use uh, to penetrate what, what, this thing? Is it Bing? What's the what's the new? Uh, if I type in internet. Microsoft Edge. Oh yeah, give yeah. it the edge. Let's try the edge. I mean, I am trying to buy it for Windows. Oh, uh, we're still getting server errors, Kyle. Mm. Yeah. Yep. 
But the game's okay. Yep. Oh, there it goes again. The game's great. Yeah. Yeah. No, we'll have no issue playing Endwalker today. But we figured uh, this would be at least mildly amusing <laughs> to try and do on the live stream. Are you mildly amused? I like, I, you know, it's good. It's fortuitous. This is good vibes. Yeah, no, Edge ain't working either. Oh, yeah, no, the game. I'm, I'm edging, but it's not working. Rightfully broken. I'm edging, but it's not working. Nicholas C., thank you for the super generous. <laughs> super thank you for there. my collector's edition if I can actually get through to buy it. I appreciate it. We're all fighting up that hill. <laughs> that is super generous, Nicholas. Thanks. Um, yeah, I'll give I'll, this a few more honest tries, and then... I mean, really, you might as well give it another six minutes because normally we run a countdown. Like, we're not even here for the next six minutes. This is bonus point. content. This is, we're, yeah, this normally is literally. The countdown starts exactly. at, at the hour. This doesn't even exist right now. This is just free content. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great way to put it, Exactly. Dude. Free, free, well, it's not free content. It's content that I hope will cost me money. Um, True. Reverse content in that way. Zervon, thank you for the generous super chat as well. Enjoy the VOD as I see it's 3 a.m. your time. Yeah, it kicked us off with our first super chat of the day and it was quite generous. Indeed. Um, thank you, Zervon. Uh, Cody, also up in the VOD squad. Thanks for hanging. Uh, boy, this is just... Oh, yeah, this is super broken. If you order it while it crashes, they will write in the notebook, I'm sorry for you. I heard that yeah, on Twitter. It said they will apologize in the notebook you receive with the collector's edition. Really? No, no, no. Oh. No, that's oh. nothing. Oh. I was like, how would they know? <laughs> how would they know? I mean... <laughs> they could watch it. Obviously, there's... there's they could see the traffic. Yeah. Obviously, there's proof here, but... Uh, Lady Neko, thanks for becoming a... Not only a member of the Gearbox, but joining up for our membership, but following that up immediately with a super chat, welcoming us to the beginning of all things. Thank you for that. Much appreciated. Uh, Pothy uh, said it's been 84 years, and then Titanic theme plays. Yeah. yeah. The heart of the ocean? I prefer the jewel of the Nile, if we're going with necklace-related love stories. Mm. The jewel of the Nile. It's the Eye of the Tiger? No. Have you seen Jewel of the Nile? No. Oh. No, never seen it. It's... Never seen it. Enjoyable? It's my first... It's been a long time. Final Fantasy expansion I'm going to be current for. I want the collector's edition. I want it, Kyle. I know. I, I want to see you open it. Is anyone else selling it? Like, can I go to a GameStop and pre-order this biz? Is that... Is, do people still do that? I, I don't know. You would be part of the numbers people like to track when they're concerned about a game not doing well. GameStop, Don Trail, Collector's Edition. Probably not. Chat no. room saying not. I'm sure we would have already been getting hot tips in uh. chat if that was the case. Uh, no, it doesn't look like... No, there's, there's a whole lot of nothing. Yoshi Pete said no. He said it himself. He said, I hate GameStop. I don't say that. People are going to quote you. <laughs> Nobody vets anything anymore. Someone's going to quote you. <laughs> the, the, people are going to believe that. See, I don't think he even thinks about GameStop. I don't think about GameStop. I haven't thought about GameStop since I traded in Banjo-Kazooie for more sweet dollars. I think about it every time I go to our Target, because that's also your Target, and there's a GameStop right around the corner by the Chipotle. I also share font with great clips, and it's very confusing. That's fair. That's fair. And that, I haven't been in a, a bit, but the last time I was in there, they actually had a surprising amount of uh, classic Game Boy games, and they weren't horribly overpriced. So, Well, at least they're doing... I give my know, local GameStop some, you know, some props. They, they should be, I don't know, staying afloat, doing that. They're yeah. a used video game provider. How often do you think about Roman GameStop? Well, according to surveys, uh, men think about Roman GameStop multiple times a day. It's because they all want to be destroyed by goths. What? It's a history joke. Goths? Yeah, it's a, it's a history joke. Why, why goths? Don't worry. If you, if Rome was just destroyed by the visit. Did you always have goth girls it's, working at your no. GameStop growing up? No, no. Because that... here, all the cute girls worked at Target. Hmm. And I, I won't even get in trouble for saying that because Katie worked at Target. No, I'm, I'm, glad, you, I'm glad you got it. <laughs> <laughs> glad you know <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, no. If you were a cute girl uh, in in Sarasota, Florida, in the early aughts, you worked at Target. Well, let's well, let's return to the moon, and we can put this in the corner oh, okay. and continue our hangout on the moon. Okay, all right. Is and that, I will also is lo- that what we're gonna do? I will locate you on the moon. I'll locate you on the moon. I know you've got you've got the Allegan Allegan spacecraft. Oh, you're on the other side of these rocks. Did you circle the whole hole? Is that how you got up there? Uh. I forget how I got there, but there's a way. There's a way inside to get there, but I ended up just circumnavigating the the tower itself. Oh, oh, you went all the way around. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna go to to Bunny World and exit out the front door. Mm, yeah, Fra- are we just phrasing? What, what what was phrasing? What did I miss? I don't think it's phrasing when it's an act of joke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. What if you know it's a joke, but you try and deliver it in a way that sounds like you don't know what you're doing? That. Sounds like me. Then you're you're phrase baited. You're phrasing baited. Fra- yes, exactly. You're baiting yes, phrasing. Exactly. Yes. You're, you're baiting people to go phrase. Oh, circling holes. Ah, I see. Oh, what you said there. oh, yeah. Okay, I, that, okay that, that was that actually. actually yeah, that's I, I wasn't actually thinking about that's, that. That's that's a legit. That's a legit call out on phrasing. That's yep. a, okay. That's yeah, legitimate. That, that, that's legit. That's legitimate. Um, These bunnies aren't working hard enough. For I know <laughs> how much they're going to do today. Nothing's going on in here. <laughs> Vernacular, Aaron. Thank you for the gifted memberships earlier. Retolia with a super generous thought I would get this out of my system before y'all started. <clears throat> the end is nigh! The end is nigh! Uh, I hope you guys enjoy these quests, and I am happy to walk to the end with this amazing community. And you too as well, I guess. Awesome. Heh. Oh man, it's been a while since I've seen a single heh. It's usually the heh heh. But I, I appreciate it, Retolia. Hey, that's good energy. Thanks for watching us for this damn long. Uh, and also supporting us, You're, you've always been quite generous, and uh, and we appreciate it. Man, this is uh, having a moment. <laughs> it's having a moment. Uh, having a moment, says Grinding Gear. Beatrix supered from work, so I can't have my carbuncle toddle around in the background, but enjoy the final walk in this fantasy. There's many more walks in this fantasy. Oh, Yes. But that's that's what happens, you know. Once you complete this, uh, from henceforth, uh, men can actually ride. They don't have to walk anymore because well, they've proven themselves. And the game uninstalls to make you go for a walk, for a time. <laughs> it's like a Nintendo game. <laughs> Is it's that like what happens? you have beaten N Walker. Please go for a please, walk. Please go outside. Please go outside. <laughs> please disconnect your Wii. Your family misses you. Uh, Taviathan, thanks for the generous super. So today is my, uh, me and my husband's anniversary, 14 years, and I want to share some love on the first day of the Endwalker's End. Uh, walk free to the end, grinders of light. Uh, happy anniversary. 14! Happy anniversary, Taviathan. Amazing. So tell your hubby happy anniversary from us, and if yeah. he doesn't know who we are, uh, that's even funnier. Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, where are you at? Have you still not made it, Kyle? I made it out of the bunny hole. Where? Uh, here, invite me to party. Invite me to party. Okay, let me bring up my my uh, UI. Inviting you to party. There you go. All right. All right. On the back, it's where we looked. We hung out with the watcher, and he explained the prison. Or I guess it was up on the landing up there. I'm down at the. Oh, park. I think I just rode past you. Okay. Oh, uh, how? Well, I went. To, I went like right down the hill. I didn't go to the. You're on the landing. I didn't even go up into the structure, so that's but my... Are you, but are you coming down the mountain, Jane's Addiction style? Uh, go tell it on the mountain? I don't know, Jane's Addiction. <laughs> I know nothing of music. Coming I'm... down the mountain! I know, go tell it from the yeah, mountain. I know that, too, because I also oh, had a music class in, like, second grade. But, yeah, uh, that song slaps. But... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Does it? Does it? Jack... Oh, thanks for the super set. I feel that I need to take this last opportunity to say this before you brave into the great unknown. Garrett and Kyle, it's been a pleasure. Are you leaving us, Jack? We're going to keep playing. Yeah. Uh, oh, tell us. It's thank you end. for the super. So going to be in and out of meetings for this one, but I'll enjoy as much live with the VOD squad. Hell yeah. Have a great stream, everyone. Oh, and the cutscenes we shall see. Also, Don Trail pre order so- soon. Let's go. Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna I'm still trying. Perfectly. Here I come. I'm doing my best. I'm, bu- I'm, I'm, cho- I'm, I, I'm trying. Vyden said we choose to go to the edge of space, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. And to see Kyle cook. Because it is hard. If I, I mean, I, would, I can't imagine what I'm cooking today. I assume we have everything in the bowls. It's more about which magical copper pan they choose to use off some website. Uh, probably pre-measured. Uh, probably Cuisinart. And we're even going to put it in the oven and like next second, it's just going to come out. 
It's a, like it's a, we prepared one earlier, and it just there it is. Is it going to be underbaked like a like a molten lava cake? That'd be good. I'd be. In, I that. love that's what I get every time I'm on a carnival cruise for dessert. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. some good shit. They have good key lime pie. Yeah. Why are we yelling uh, in the balls, Nakuru? The Thals balls. I mean, it could be a Thals balls. In the Thals balls. Are we referencing the Thals and their balls? Oh, some people actually got into the cart. But this button is just still not a cart. Uh, not active for me. Are they VPNing? I am not VPNing. Oh my god, uh, we look badass, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some pictures of everybody here. That's what I'm doing on my end. <laughs> I'm taking some pictures. Everyone looks awesome. Kendrick said, "Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Ge- Gearing Prize." Yeah, we can work okay. on that. We can okay. work on that. Have I, you I, seen the names of our subs in the free company? No. There's a subscribe. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> And many others like it. Do we have sub like the stream? Uh, Faye does an amazing job naming all our subs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the super, Aaron. Love you, too. Uh, uh, important way to beat, beat a game, buy sequel. <laughs> oh, there might be a cheat here from Tree saying uh, complete edition plus Dawn Trail page. Like maybe there's a, you know, like an additional page where it tries to sell you the whole game. And you can, like, maybe everyone's clicking on this so one So try here. and buy the normal one? Like, well, you know, maybe not. Or maybe there's, like, a secondary page. What What does that mean? I'm going to Discord. I'm going to Discord. I have no en- idea. Engage the gearbox. Let's see what happens. Uh, anyone got a link to the thing Kyle's talking about? Page is really chugging. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because this, this ain't doing shit. I love it. Do you? Well, I'm, I'm sad that you're not getting one, <laughs> but I'm excited for the fact that it's broken because it means big hype energy for a game that a lot of people said wouldn't recover from its end. Look how excited people are. Yeah. Look how many people are clicking. Yeah. Oh, there's even people getting it in the cart. Yeah. It's rough, man. That's rough, buddy. Let's see. Dawn Trail. Okay, here's the regular one. If you're all, if you're here in game with us, squeeze in. Like, get in the picture. Get in the picture. <laughs> Bre- break the rules. You guys make a great zone, and we love it. But for now, like, for this moment, yeah, just get in here. Let's get some pictures taken. Y'all look awesome. Oh, shit. Yeah, there we go. This button does oh. a thing, at least. Oh. It's trying to add it to the card. It's thinking. Mm. A different button. It's thinking. It's thinking, Kyle. Thank you to everyone in our Discord who's who's trying to make this oh, work. I'm gonna try yeah. opening the, the, the cart in another tab just to see. I'll let this one ride. Nope. All right, while that happens, everyone I see you squeezing in. We still got some people squeezing in. Nice, nice. It's it's thinking, man. It's thinking. Oh, t- oh, oh, so we're oh look at forcing it. Look at this Dillard's energy, y'all taking. Elizins, take knees. Nice job. Why Dillard's? Because well, you know they do the photos when we were children and our windbreakers. Oh, and we, stuff. We, we we weren't that fancy. We went to Sears. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I apologize. My my Dillard's privilege is showing. <laughs> My parents spent the big Dillard's buy. Actually, no. My dad worked at JCPenney, so we went to JCPenney. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. No, we were, we were a Penny's fan. Every Christmas, I uh, usually still get at least one gift uh, from my parents in a Burdines box. A what? Burdines. It was a, I think it was a South-only like, JCPenney competitor. Oh. They, they haven't existed since, I think, like, 93, 94. Hmm. Um, but, but, yeah. Macy's yeah. has a small Toys R Us section. Yes. So that's where we park when we go to the mall so we can, you know, look at the toys. With yeah, the... They, they ended up with the Toys R Us license. Yeah. They ended up with it. They stole Jeffrey from us. Well, I, you could also argue they saved Jeffrey Yeah, they could. Jeffrey they might have saved us. Jeffrey. All right. Okay. Nice job. Now, everyone, do one emote, and I'll G-pose whatever chaos <laughs> ensues from it. Oh, my word.
It's trying. <laughs> it's trying. Ma Only one emote. We're not spamming. Only one emote. Mega Majig. We will have fun. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. You enjoy being an emotional vampire. You enjoy it. You've earned it, damn it. You've earned it by being here. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Glad you can make it too, Udnert. This button at least lets you click it, but it does. It still doesn't seem to be uh, to be working. This, all this one does is just give me a, like a little additional hope before destroying it, Kyle. <laughs> just a little, a little additional hope. Uh, well, that's why many sections in Final Fantasy exist, right? Alta Sangin, my God. To play with your uh, emotions. Thank you. That is a lot of memberships. Uh, if you received one, make sure you send a thank you Alt Sangin's way. Thank you much. Nice flex. I would like it to be a nice flex. If I got the CE, it would be a nice flex. I would, I would love to flex today. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm just like letting this page try and load my cart like indefinitely. And then on this tab, I'm F5ing to see if it helps. You know, we're, we're trying both. We're trying both. We will enjoy Kevin M. Just so me, super good afternoon to the end. Uh, did you know that the sun is the ultimate optimist? It's always looking on the brighter side of things, Kyle. Boo. Hmm. <laughs> I have to look at Kyle's face to see mm. his reaction. I have to look at his face. Oh, by the way, I can turn the BGM back on, I guess. Did you teleport? No, I'm right here. I'm, I'm in the thick of it. I'm, ah. I'm, I'm here. Fabulous, fabulous picture, everybody. I shall treasure these always. I just posted some to the Discord as well. I would make it my background, except for my son draws my backgrounds in paint right now, and he's very proud of it. And I wouldn't dare take that from him. That's adorable. Yeah, he's a, he's a good artist. That's freaking adorable. Mantium, thanks for the 17 months. Said an okay day for launch, everyone. The Sky Watcher weather forecast in Old Charlayan reports fair skies, changing the clouds. Thank you for the weather report. Lucky. Did they go the whole expansion without getting final dazed? Uh, in the weather well, anyway? We'll see. Yeah. It could, it's probably going to like bust break out why while, while oh, we Oh, I'd like that. Yeah. While we take off. I'd like if it was, you know, closing in. Like we jump on the ramp as it's taken off as beasts are trying to eat us. There's some little beast like wallying on the side. Arr! As we go and then does the Arr! as he falls off. Yeah, bring it. Is that what you think is going to happen? Uh, I'd be down with it if it happens. It doesn't have to happen. It can just be a lot of three, two, one, go. I want something to like crash through that glass dome and labyrinthos. Like I think that would be sick. Mm -hmm. What you know, just for hell of it. What if I try buying two? Oh, it won't let me. <laughs> what if it's like, oh, big baller here? Here you go. Yeah. Oh go yeah. For it. Yeah. Front of the line, sir. I mean, we could find a good home for it. Potentially your home or give it away. Quick! I bet that man does microtransactions. Skip him the line. <laughs> So I fell in another world and I brought my credit Quick, that card man's with playing me. Dragon's Dogma and defending it. They must love yeah, microtransactions. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's... <laughs> <laughs> with steps yep. and caveats. Uh, Dan Kojak said, This webpage is experiencing large amount of traffic. Please try again later. Yep, yep that tracks. Mm, mm. That tracks. Zenshi said, I got my PC a month ago and it has really uh, got me to play more games at higher resolutions. So now is it time to walk to the end? Let's go. Nice. I love being able to run things at 4K, 120, max. It's, it's calming. It is delightful. Yeah, it's, it's fun kind of to do the puzzle of like, what can I turn down and turn off the hair effects on Tomb Raider? But, you know, it's just covered and just turn things on. That's why I like consoles too. It's just turn it mm. on. And it's supposed to work. Consoles are fun. Oh, on Firefox, there's a, a a warning that says too many requests on this item page. All right, let, let me let me get in on this just so we have one more one more person clicking. Oh shit! Oh, oh god! I gotta check out now button, but then it busted. This is in Firefox, which I can't as easily show you. The website has experienced a large amount of traffic. I just have a traffic indicator. Like, there's nothing. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hold up. Nothing even here. Hold up. 
Something went wrong. Oh no, I'm in checkout, but it's breaking. Hold on, I'm I'm actually in it now, Kyle. So okay, yeah, now you're for me. Now you're uh, where were you? Where what what did you get to? I was in check. I got to Zenshi. We're on to Dean online. Dean. All right, it's trying. It's trying. Damn it. By the way, everybody, Thursday we finished this thing out. Friday, at 3 p.m. Eastern, we are joined by Jesse Cox for a talk about the end of Endwalker. Monday, we've announced our guest. Yes, Amanda Ockham will be joining us. Mm, on the podcast, that'll be delightful. Thursday will be the super forum, as you might know it. So if we don't get to you today, thank you so much for your support, hanging out with us, being a part of our community, joining the Discord. However you choose to support us on Patreon, support our bromance.com. We do not run mid-roll ads. I hate them. You hate them. He hates them. We all hate mid rolls so we don't do it. Uh, there's other things that are the target of my ire at this exact moment in history, but... Um, well, sure. I, I, yeah, I'm not a fan. Maybe, you know, I tell my son not to use hate, too, so maybe hate is a strong word, but surely we all dislike mid rolls And you dislike mid rolls and no one would want to be walking to the end and have a mid roll show up, so no. we don't do those here. So thank you so much for your support and allowing us oh not to oh, press God. those buttons. I got the proceed to checkout page, and it just keeps breaking but I think I'm progressing over in Firefox. Vernacular ham, thank you for the massive super chat. Oh, my word, yeah, I'm seeing that on the side here as I furiously F5. It's been a pleasure to be along for the ride for the past two years. Looking forward to following the trail to the new dawn alongside you guys. Uh, and before then, the very excellent trials and raids of Endwalker patch content. Thanks, Vernacular ham. You've uh, been here a very long time. Very generous supporter. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for being awesome. We're stoked as heck for Dawn Trail and everything along the way. Oh, I'm back on the freaking proceed to check out. God damn it. <laughs> damn it, Kyle. <laughs> damn it all. I am excited for it. I just, you know, yeah, I don't know. I mean, would you like me to be a skeptic this evening? This day, this what? afternoon? No, why would to you? To sit think? around and be like, I don't know if they can stick the landing. For Endwalker? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm stoked. Uh, I can't imagine I won't enjoy it. I want to see some stuff go down. I think I'll probably prefer a, a, a spa, a Shadowbringers still, but, like, oh, I still just, I still just, uh, I'm still just really enjoying this, so. We'll, we'll see, though. We'll see. Proceed to check out. Please, let, for the love of God, let me proceed to check out. You monsters. You absolute monsters. Oh, I lost connection with server in Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, that's concerning. That's weird. You didn't, though. Nope, I'm still in. Okay. For now. Wouldn't that be weird if everyone's like, man, I'm so stoked about Dawn Trail. Oh, what can I do while I wait for this? I'm going to log into Final Fantasy XIV for <laughs> a little bit. And just, search like, today? everyone just logs the hell in. That would be pretty funny. It would be. It would be intense. Yeah. There's something about this that uh, I f I that is an actual like a legitimate rush for me, Kyle. You like the gamble of it? I do. What if I proceed to check out in a new tab? Nope. Something went wrong. Yeah, we, I, I can tell. Dean Online says, "Been following since Heaven's Word. Honored to be here for the end. Looking forward to the next adventure. Love you both. Heart." Aww, Much appreciated. You. Dark Knight of Anime. Well, you confronted the god of eternal darkness, the goddess of light. Now it's time to venture into the unknown to confront a bird girl. Bet you never thought this would be the direction they go. Well, I... We talked a little bit about this online recently. And I want a better... What, what would you all call it? Because I don't like the phrase false start for this. It's more like teasing three different plots and then going we're too good to even do that like the towers one tower and be done the flower it's not really all that i good. would call Move it e easy to lock on to a plot thread and think that that's the most important thing yeah i would say there's a lot of plot threads that are easy to overly focus on 
because I mm. think you can focus on the Elpis flower. I think you can focus on Garlemald. I think you can focus on the moon and Xenos. Yeah, and And no one of those things are the main plot point of, of Ven Walker. I like misdirection, maybe. I don't think it is misdirection, though, because it all heads towards something. It's just yeah. a part of a tapestry. Yeah, it's just, it's what we've been saying the whole time, moves faster than you think, but they decide to do that for a whole expansion. Yeah. Fate and switch. That's a pretty good one. It, that, that, in all, everything you're saying infers that it's, it's, it's tricking you. It's not tricking you. All of it plays. Well, into I'm not going to do subvert expectations. I got sick of that phrase. It's, it's, I, I disagree with everything you've said. Just every, all of it. It's like, not, not, it's not a false start. It's not a red herring. It's not a misdirection. It's not subverting your expectations. That's why I'm looking for the right word. It's just, it's detailed. It's multifaceted. Here. What you are describing yeah. is a multifaceted, multifaceted story. Rich. That's good. Rich, yeah. That's that's a way that you could put it. I would have a hard time picking out the axe. The the axe? Yeah, you know, you have a three axe structure, a three paragraph oh, essay. Like, yeah. It's a tough one to do that with. You know, when people started calling it like Labs 2 when we were in the second Lopperid section, I was like, thank you. Thank you for giving me something to label to say. Yes, to differentiate stuff. But like Raz at Hand could have been a whole expansion. Oh, not to compare it to other games, but I remember arriving in a city and being like, once you have received your one city, this is where everything will happen. I thought, but yeah. I feel like once we got, once we got to the moon and once we killed Zodiac so early, I was like, okay. I got no idea where this is taking us. I actually had to edit myself down in the last video because I said tapestry so many times. It got kind of hard. <laughs> but it is a tapestry. I know, but I think I removed three separate times I said tapestry. So I needed a new word. And I love cornucopia. Maybe I should use mosaic more often. Because that's like a collection of individual glass pieces making a hole divided by metal wire. Supported by metal wire structuring. I have a new strategy of keeping the checkout now button up and opening a new tab spamming because sometimes it at least tries to load. All right. I'm seeing um, someone got in an opera. You got opera? I don't know what opera is. It's a, a browser, another browser. I do not have opera. Um, no. What was the Netscape? Netscape? Was that the old... Uh, this net, I don't think Netscape still exists. I, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm sure it still exists if you have, like, a Windows XP machine that... Fire up your installed. Linux. Where am I, I have never used Linux in my life. Me neither? Unless you count, I think that's what the Steam yes. link runs off of. Oh, wait, oh, just the link? I think the Steam link runs off of a modified version of Linux. Duncan says, happy to be here for this, but I'm now going to have to pop to spend my sync money on the 7.0 pre-order as the stream starts. Good luck to you. Oh, and, my and your word. sync. Oh, my word. I made it through. Okay, hold on. Okay. I need my square right. log. Silence. In. Silence, everybody. Oh, you can you can talk. Oh, okay. I need my square log in. Bertolia, thank you for the generous super chat. Oh, the end is nigh. Yes, we had the doom saying earlier. Oh, it wants, it wants the version with my email. But I know, know it's a is joyous. Is from the one they always ask for. No, it's a joyous one. Yeah. Pins and needles. Yep. That's a jinx if I've ever heard one. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. It'll probably. Whiskey 2. Thank you for becoming a Couldn't member. Couldn't log you in with that email address. What? That is my email address. You absolute monsters. Greek fire. Babe, wake up. New Mog Station just dropped. Savage. Ezri00 gifted five subs, memberships, excuse me. I get my reds and purples confused sometimes. Oh. Professor Oak, good to see ya. Oh, your stream? Yeah, I, I need some level. Well, no, no. Oh, Eureka. Yeah, no, 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 no. Well, you, yeah, we were Eureka, because I want my earring before we go doing more Boja. I want the bonus XP from the pre-order. But we can Eureka. We can just Eureka. There's no XP in there, so uh, yeah. Rip it. Das, good to see you. Enjoy the ride. I'll be vodding after food poisoning. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, good to see you. Good luck to you. Thank you again, Nicholas, for the generous end approaches. 
The Square Enix store appears to not use your Final Fantasy XIV account. Is the best I can gather from the issues I am currently experiencing. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. It's trying. It's doing a thing. It's actually thinking. Oh. There's a link. North America. We are aware that North American Square Enix Stores is experiencing technical difficulties, and we are working closely with our partners to resolve the issue. We will share updates as we have them. You think? Oh, no. Mm. Only North America. I knew it. Oh man, it's just like loading indefinitely. That's the kind of thing you're just like, I don't I don't want to touch anything. Kotar Peck says Edge only has pre-orders for Endwalker up. Oh, well, Edge isn't going to be the place to go. For Endwalker? Yeah. Not Dawn Trail. Nope. For some reason, that never got updated in whatever system they use. Oh, my word. That's that's pretty amusing, all things considered. Eagle, good to see you. The Square Enix store manager, IRL Tataru, must be raging because they're suffering from success. <laughs> I mean, I'd be panicking. The keeper of coin. I'd be panicking properly if this was my job. All right. User formerly known as John, thank you for being with us for 21 months on lunch next hour, then back to work. VOD Squad, go. Enjoy your lunch. Enjoy if you are joining the clicking. May in a three months time, you dab your cheeks with your cloth map. Buddy. I do like cloth maps. Mulkster, eight months. Eight months of supporting bromance. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Sage says, I've said it before, but man, it's surreal that we're finally here. I agree. I agree. It is. It is. But also, I'm like un, unfazed, vibing in my element. I'm just excited to see it. My, my desire to... Witness what it has in store is greater than any fears I have. Mm. I'm clicking for you too, man, and it's, it, I, I'm not getting anything. Oh yeah, no, I'm just uh, I'm getting so close to like where it's kind of letting me do it, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's having some moments for sure. I believe you got this one already, but happy anniversary again for 14 years. I did, in fact, get that one already. Jonathan Harrison says, 20 months. I got off. I got today off work so I can walk to the end with you guys. Thank you for sharing your journey with us. Holy crap. To have your mind blown. Hell yeah. Thank you for the dedication. Yeah. The clock is ticking. Thank you for being my uh, my seeing eye dog while I APM this store, Kyle. You're welcome. I, Keep clicking. I really appreciate This is friendship, y'all. Just so, if you ever wanted to know what friendship looks like, this is it. Also, I don't need random crap in my house. I just moved and I haven't recovered yet, so I'm okay. Don't worry about me. I'll get it later digitally. This man hasn't moved in like 10 years, so he doesn't know the plight of owning crap. Eight. Eight. LeBron, thank you for being a member for 14 months. Let's see how many times I can fool Kyle into thinking I'm the Red Mage job quest NPC. <laughs> it does happen. He is a handsome man, so congrats on your character design. Excellent choice. Well done. Rayana, 22 months working during today's stream, but meeting gods have blessed me with an empty schedule so I can watch on my second screen. Nice. Happy to help out.
Fritz Bulmer. I hope you two are hungry. That moon not's gonna eat that moon isn't gonna eat itself. In all seriousness, congrats. And I hope that it's as rewarding for you as it was for me. Absolutely. I do wonder as a thought experiment, sitting alone in my room, what all of this would feel like. Occasionally seeing someone run by me. Because I'm used to y'all running by us, but you're also themed to do such an, such an excellent job. But you're like an Elpis and people are doing that like that questing MMO jump. I think about it sometimes. Though it has been fun to see Old Da nice and full recently with all the Xbox players running around. What do you think is going to happen on today's stream? <laughs> Get in the ship and launch? Go to the edge of the universe? That's the best... Uh... That's the best guess I got. Yep. And from there, uh, follow our emotions through the cloud that is Medion's home of dark energies that they coalesce from dead civilizations. And uh, that's what I assume for today because Thursday's the second half and that's where we'll hop on Popper with our sweet Heidelin powers that we borrowed. With our sweet uh, bringing our f dead friends back powers. That's, yes, that's, that's you. Yes. how I took that information, the power that she infused into the Crystal of Asm. But today, specifically, I'm not sure. I, I'm a ma I'm, I have to... I'm thinking more in game mechanics. Like, I know how MMOs work. I think there's one more zone. Like, I think we're, we're going to get to a new zone today. Um... And it'll be made of, like, dynamis. Right, Kyle? Die. Die. So kind of, th you know how Mount Golg was, like, forming white marble out of ether mm -hmm. when we were chasing after Vothri? Imagine that, like, turned way the hell up at the edge of the universe. Uh, but it's made out of dynamis. It's kind of where my brain's going. How much is the collector's edition? Uh, two something. That looks like one to the five for the version I'm trying to get right now that I believe doesn't come with a game code. But uh, I want okay that statue in that map real bad. So I'll take whatever will get in my cart right now. Okay, I, I got a I got a side thing came in. A little side window has opened. Okay, and it's spinning. So I've made it that far. Yeah, I had that for a bit, and uh, it ended up not going anywhere. For the expertly crafted Viper figure. That's what they say. People, boy, have you seen how many people have opinions on the quality of collector's edition figurines from Final Fantasy XIV? Are you aware that that is yet another conversation that's intensely easy to have? You remember the Witcher one, though? That thing was crap. No, I don't. Yeah, there's been a lot of bad statues over the years. The Fallout bag, remember that one? I do remember the Fallout bag. Yeah, the bag. Fallout yeah. bag. You remember how every year we went to BlizzCon, the gift got shittier and shittier? Well, I do remember <laughs> that, yes. That was, um, that was weird. For sure we went. They were handing out sideshow collectible statues of Tyrael. And yeah, that uh, was the year cool. before that, I got a sideshow collectibles Deathwing statue. And then they were like, have a backpack. And I was like, oh. I like that. I, the I, gift I, used to be dope. I mean, I, I wore my backpack here, you know? Like, I, like, <laughs> I like having a backpack. Don't get me wrong. It's not a sideshow collectible statue. No, it was, it was over time, it was weird. Yeah, I'm going to give this a few more tries, and then I'm throwing in the towel. Sounds good. There will be other adventures to click on if they're aware of it. Uh, mods, if it truly opens up, to let us know in the chat, and we'll take a, take a snack break, and we can do a little more clicking. Yeah, where'd you leave off on, uh, on Supers here? I was on... Uh, so Balmer, I think, had it. I uh, hope you're hungry for the moon. So we're on to Steve for nervous, excited, nerve sighted. Uh, I've been more nerve sighted. I'm excited. I'm feeling analytical. Happy to be here. Things have timed out well in that regard. Don't 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 talk about time out right now. Luckily, things are, de things are definitely I'm feeling uh, lucky. You feel lucky. I feel lucky. Punk. And I'm like, I'm, I'm just, I might feel a little different if, if, you know, we didn't have Dawn Trail's announcement because I'd be staring at a unknown, but I'm just excited for it. I'm excited for Picto too. I think Picto looks like a lot of fun. Print out what you can. I'm excited for Viper. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. We're going to have the Gambit represented here on Grinding Gear. 
Gemini Duality. Thank you for 12 months. I uh, won't be able to catch the live, but can't wait to finally catch the walk to the end. Nice. Hope you can join us Thursday live. Scaldi, 12-month membership and time for the end. You guys are awesome. Can't wait to watch you play many more FF games together. I agree. I agree. Including this one. We, we looked at a calendar the other day, and we're like, if we want to have any hope of being ready for Dawn Trail near launch, we got to just keep going. It's, it's going to be... Busy. Yeah. Certainly. I'm looking forward to the pace. Rachel, thank you for the generous supers. And I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by Zodiac. Wait a minute. Space. I'm not sure that's correct. I mean, he does want to have at the planet, so there's probably a cone behind the moon of safety. Cone behind the moon of safety. Yes. Is the what? safest place from Zodiac would be behind the moon. Okay. Unless, of course, he... Oh, did they actually break the swords? Oh, yeah, they yes. did break all the swords. Yeah, that was, nice. that was how Zodiac... No, I'm how, aware of... Yeah, but, you know... That's some, what Fandaniel and Xenos were you know, doing. Sometimes shit doesn't update in games, so you're that's, like... That's what they were yeah, doing. I would be okay with it. After they ran really fast because we screwed with their port. Yes. Linco, uh, we're so stoked that you have been waiting two plus years for this. Thanks for being with us that long. Uh, Geef Cookie is just Kyle cooking. Hmm. Joshua Stingle said, just let us buy the game, Square. Square. Oh, just take my money. We want to give you money. Take my money. Please. Einvar. We will enjoy the end walking. Ah, uh, my store, my store's broke, 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 broke it again. It broke, it's just broke it over and over again. It's just broke it in. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, Lunar Super. It feels like the stream should be called End Website. Poor site is killed. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's definitely dying of under death. heavy load. You think? Yes. In celebration of Dawn Trail. It's the Dawn Trail uh, waiting room? Question mark. Server error is my life right now, Kyle. Yeah, I'm not getting anything better on my clicking end. Yeah. Sky again is height for the MSQ. Kit London Super. Happy MSQ day. Garrett, I finished my butterfly dress, so I'm ready <laughs> to fight Fana. Hell yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, Kit informed me of the butterfly dress while, uh, while we met for dinner a week ago. Oh, very cool. That was a good time. Found it highly amusing after your butterfly battle fiasco. What a time to hit 90, man. I am so Shh. I am so pleased with that storyline. You can line. say they hit 90 fighting Vana wearing butterfly armor. It's a perfect Who story. Who else can say that? It's a perfect story. Besides Kyle. Arm guard knocked. This feels like an episode before the finale, so let's walk unto the end. Uh, yeah, I guess, well, it's, it's sometimes animes have an episode after the finale where it's just, like, nothing but wrap-up, so... But I'm assuming that's all gonna happen tomorrow. What was the end of Heaven's Word? Like, three hours I after we beat the boss? I like the pre-Avatar uh, finale where they watch the play of their exploits. Yes! That's that's how you do it's it. It's a good moment. That's how you do that shit. Some tell... This feels a little too, um... You know, pressed for time. I don't think we're gonna have... I don't think we're gonna have a moment like that in uh, in Final Fantasy. I, I don't see the end. Of... I think I think if we had time for that, the Loperitz ate it up. So yeah, I don't see a big comical interlude. I between... don't see the twins sitting down in Gridania for a dramatic retelling of the Scions escapades. As much as I would love to watch that, that'd be cool patch content. More snipes, yeah. Uh, thank a mod. Uh, they're going to be working hard. Uh, that being said, mods, we've said it before. We'll say it again. Once we're in the shit, um, we're going to be paying attention to the game oh, more yeah. than the chat. So don't sweat it too much. We're going to be playing the game too much to worry about spoilers in chat. Uh, but don't put spoilers in chat. Just no, don't, just don't do it. That's not a cool thing to do. Practice for other people you might watch here by not spoiling us. Yeah. Exactly. 
We need a mic on that mouse because it's going hard. And last time, um, some folks received some pretty long timeouts, uh, so don't um, don't do it. Don't just don't. Or, do or it. yeah, join the Discord and there's a spoiler channel that you can talk freely in. Uh, the proud one, thank you for the new membership, Mitchell. Hot tip: there are many NPCs sprinkled throughout the Charlayan zone, easy to miss if you're not looking for them. I've gone on a walk to talk. Wait, are we talking about the labs? Or are we talking about Charlayan? Charlie. Because I've gone through a thorough walk of Charlie and to just talk to people. Unless their dialogue got updated in a very short order, which I guess could do I could do that Wednesday as a little little walk around. Fane, good to see ya. I am here, I made it in the game. It's going to be uh it's been so long since I got to properly hang out with you guys, but I wouldn't miss this for the world. Onward to the end. It's good to see ya. Thank you for joining us here. They appreciate it. Aaron, wow! 21 months membership, it says, I've been watching you guys, and I can't believe we'll be walking this with you. Hell yeah. It's been a minute. Um, Kyle and I recorded a thing last night that you'll see later. Um, and we, we had to think on how long it's been and what has happened in the, in the time since, uh, since we started this. Um, but yeah, man. Um, I sure as shit am playing Final Fantasy. I sure am shit playing this game. That's what's happening. That's what's happening today. <sighs> All right. Well, Cal, I think I'm ready to give up. Okay. I'm going to freshen myself. Okay. And we'll roll. Delightful. Let's do it. Um, I should get a water after you freshen yourself. Let me do that. Let me do that. Something went wrong, all of my tabs say. Almost there. Okay, that's a new screen. Haven't seen that one before. I don't know what's going on with it. Oh, bad gateway. Shame. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Yeah, I'm you know, just giving it a few final tries to see if uh, I can brute for force this business. But it's, uh, yeah, it's looking like... Uh, oh, oh, there's the dogs. There they are. Zelda doing the Zelda thing. I love when she does the big breathing. The <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of Tenacious D reverse breathing. <laughs> and now I'm always... I'm always barking. And I'm never always barking. <laughs> and I'm never stopping because I'm always effing singing and I'm never effing stopping. Yeah. Oh, thank you mods for being here today. It's good to see y'all. You haven't missed it. Nope. We're getting going. You haven't, you haven't missed nothing. All I've been trying to do is buy Dawn Trail. Go get yourself some water. Let's and it isn't working. Yep. All right. Let's watch this beautiful bird fly. fly. Oh man. Oh. Please. If you want to see the end end, remember we are only going to roads paved today. I say only having no idea if that's a lot, but we started early all the same today. Make sure to give that link a follow that is where you're going to find part two when it's streamed on thursday wait it worked oh no wait no no don't 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 don't, 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 don't trick him don't trick him while he's gone he'll be back don't go scaring him like that so we will see you there thursday and that's great but another huge thank you to everybody who's supported us here with memberships, with super chats, and huge shout out to everybody who went over and took the time to sign up at supportourbromance.com on Patreon. That is absolutely huge for us for planning the future of the channel, and it's one of the key reasons why we can do awesome things that I'm so proud of right now in this internet world, like never run mid-roll ads. That means so freaking much to me that I can provide that 
to you all and not interrupt, mess with, time your experience in a weird way. So, hell yeah. Thank you all so much for being awesome and making this awesome for all of us. Oh no, we're, we're gonna do road, we, we do the, whatever the quest is, that is the word, we do that whole quest. We stop after it before we click the next one. That quest will be completely crested. And then the MS curator was like, just end it. Don't, don't stop for a video, just do both parts, see it to the end. The meetup scheduling? Oh, yes, yes, uh, things, things to discuss, yes. We shall, we shall let you know about that very shortly. Things to discuss, yes. Oh, just, uh, you know, plans for the future and whatnot. People are asking about some future things. I'm gonna click these buttons one. I am here to be present for today. It says maximum order quantities one with one in my cart. Oh, well, try uh, You know, that that's new. Yeah, just for the hell of it. I mean, can I, can I buy zero? Do you like this? Oh yeah, you're just, you're broken. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Maybe. Now I'm getting this maximum purchase quantity is one, like I'm... There we go, the 14 account. Uh, I'm gonna hide this for a second. Oh? Because I actually got to the login page. Oh? Um, so, yeah, ID or email address, it should be this one, there we go, not a robot. Holy crap, something's happening. Oh no, Moira, we got you, we got you. You're here with almost 3K viewers and less than 1,000 likes for shame chat. I mean, I don't encourage shaming, but yeah, you know, <laughs> yes, for shame, indeed. By the way, there's a very good chance we will miss a message Yes, today. and there's an exceptional uh, chance we'll miss a message today. And just to review that, we will have our same usual and probably large time expensive I would say, uh, prolonged. What am I trying to say? I am trying to say extended edition super forum where we will be rewatching all the footage that we make this day with you all answering your supers here that you send talking to you about it. If you come back then it's a big hangout. It's not just supers. We talk about the game. We talk about various things happening inside of it. Our thoughts in the moment, what we were feeling back then, which is now what we are thinking about, including in the video, which would be future. There's so much. There's so much going on. Jesse Friday, Amanda Monday, Super Forum Tuesday. It's 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 gonna be wild. It's just all over the place. It's all it's just it's, it's gonna be nets. Yes, retrospective is a good word too. The post cook, uh, the the Tupper wearing. Yeah, it's kind of like Tupper wearing. <laughs> the Tupper because we're putting it all in its individual boxes for processing. The the revisiting. The actually having a moment to collect our thoughts and talk about the thing ending. Mm -hmm. But no nuking, no microwaves. I hate microwaves. They ruin food. Uh, there's some food, it's fine. I mean, like popcorn. You know, I find like noodle based dishes perfectly fine to microwave. <laughs> Personal preference. I'm I don't trust those I'm not things. sure I care that much if you agree with me on this or not. I think my eyes hurt when a microwave goes off near me, but that might just be <laughs> sympathy pain for the food. <laughs> I definitely don't like it for pizza. Microwave and pizza is the pit. No, just eat it cold. Like, just, just give in. No, I put it in a toaster oven. Oh. Yeah. Or the actual oh, oven. Yeah. Or reheat it in a pan real fast. Sure, sure. All that works. All right, make your final clicks. We got three minutes of clicking left. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, try I'm trying. This is my f my final actual thing. I got to the login screen and it was like uh, uh, F you. Um, it actually, yeah, it, it, it was it was really weird. It showed me a, a hand-drawn piece of art of a Moogle giving me the finger. Um, <laughs> that sweet Amano art of the, <laughs> the Moogle yeah, yeah, flipping yeah. you off. Yeah, everyone yeah. everyone knows that piece, That's right? a rough one. Uh, I'm surprised they yeah. commissioned it, but you know, it is it is beautiful, you know, it's a classy piece. Yeah, I'm not, on both websites, both versions I have here, it says maximum purchase quantity is one. And that's even on the website where you can't select a purchase quantity. So that's good that they don't allow people to buy multiple versions and try to sell them off, but. Yep, yeah, I think it's just broken. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh my God. 
Wait, hang on. Kyle keeps trying to move me along, and then he goes, wait. Oh, sorry, sorry. He gives me hope. Don't do that. Don't give me hope. Don't do it, Kyle. Don't give me hope, Kyle. Um, I'm logging in. I have like five checkout pages currently just stuck in spinning hell. Yeah, if anyone's curious uh, how far I've made it, I've uh, I've made it to checkout like 20 times, and it just keeps failing on me. Yep, 404, 404, 404, ah, uh, they all 404 would yep. I hate to see it. Oh, yeah, now it doesn't think I'm actually me logging in. Mm. So they're, you know, having... Guess I can check out as a guest? I tried that, and it locked, it like, cookie, or, like, is it cookies? What's the thing that remembers what you've done? I think it, like, cookie locked me, and I couldn't try logging in with my Square account after that. Children of the land! <laughs> do you hear? I can think of no more fitting way. All right. Well, Kyle, as I succumb to despair... Have you made it to shipping address? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, keep trying. Okay. I moved recently. I don't know my address. <laughs> Do you know my address? All right. I've got two hopeful tabs. If those fail, we're moving on. We're moving on. Nothing to do, but move on. We will not give in to despair. <laughs> I mean, maybe we will. Maybe we will. Oh man, Evane was able to get through. Thanks for the super, Evane. But uh, I think our audience will burn our stream to the ground if we don't start playing soon. Yep, I agree, I agree. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, they're still just spinning, which is probably a bad sign, but, uh, you never know. Freaking the circles, man. The circles are hope, but I feel like they're false hope. Chat, don't self-combust. <laughs> Ugh. Is this when Garrett turns into a blasphemy? You, you might see it live on air. All right, all right, all right. I'm I'm loading after doing my shipping, so it ain't working. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Also, I got disconnected from the server. <laughs> from Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> oh, but we man. shall persevere. We we shall. We will not go quietly into the night. Well, we will if we're try currently giving up on buying. If, if the night is, is giving up on buying the collector's edition, we are, in fact, going quietly into the night. Today we celebrate Moon Day. Our Independence Day from the Square Enix cart. That's what we do. That's what we do. Dark Man, thanks for super trying to get through on the phone right now. Eesh. Um, Kyle, for when we have down uh, moments, where do we leave off? Um... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Kyle's thinking. Yeah, because I did a search. Thought loading. We were on... Aaron. How do you spell that? E I R Y N. E I R Y. Oh, Aaron. I know Aaron. All right. Uh, of course, it's not working when I control F it. Could also try Fane was before that, and Fitchell before that. It's a bold decision, everybody, to move on from the Square Enix website. Found it. Found it. Yeah, Aaron was a wow. I've been watching you guys. Cannot believe we'll be walking this with you. It's been a minute. 
It's been a minute, but it's time to go. Time to space. It's time to walk to the end and steal a glance at those tabs that are still spinning. <laughs> All right. To the bold decision part. I'm going to turn on grit because I know this is where, uh, you know, Alphano is going to turn on us and I'm going to have to fight him. Yep, yeah, the big solo duty where you fight Alpha now. It's amazing no one's spoiled it. What is your goal? Oh, you're, um, is, is part of that, uh, the, the, the 15 crossover outfit? Yeah, I, I mixed the 15 with some Astrologian pants to give kind of a blue sash to match oh. the, the blue business. You're very Alpha Noe. If Alpha Noe was in a boy band. Yeah. That's, that's the vibe you've got. Oh my god, the asymmetrical glove is a choice. Yeah, and the little skulls. Boy, howdy. Crossbones Wait, cascading I'm sorry, down I your got, chest. There's skull, skulls? Yeah, look at my chest. Burp, 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 burp. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. That's actually, I would wear that t-shirt. I would wear that t-shirt. It's a cool t-shirt. I would do it. Kryle says, urgent news. Val, Tuna, I trust you have a good rest? Envoy of Master Fortunos arrived not long after with a message. The Loperets have determined Medion's location. Wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. Wasn't ready. Oh, pardon me. Bold decision. Okay. Apparently, we turned in the crystal. Yes. So we're good. Yes. Loperets received. All right. Medion's location. Continue. We've been asked to gather at the Rostra. I I'll be meeting you there along with the others. Goodbye, Tataru. Oh, Tataru waved. Yeah, a little wave. That was adorable. Uh, we're speaking with Fortuno, who's over at the Rostra. Even Lord Amandalane has been doing his parts as Tataru, albeit a snail's pace. Still, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> Just one more Amandalane dig before the end. That's what end walking is actually going to be. You know, it's, it's what it's, it's all it's about. It's just going to be insulting a monolane until he turns into a blasphemy. That's going to be the final boss of Endwalker. Why did you teleport to old Charlene? Because we're going in the hole, right? Oh, no. Wait. We're talking to Fortuno in the Nautilus room. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I just want to go to this. I'm just eager to go to the spaceship room is really what it is. I just keep thinking to myself, when am I going to the spaceship room? Are we going to the spaceship room? Let's go to the spaceship room. Is that I, someone's... Yes, okay. That's I am someone's here for the spaceship somewhere. room. Okay. I feel like I should uh, post up with the Scions in terms of my location in this room. I'm just going to wait for Kyle to come in. That door there. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Yolen, thanks for the 19 months. In the meantime, uh... We're stoked that, you, that you're you joyed to see us get to this point. Sideswiper, good to see you. Thanks for the super. It's a God Don Trail pre-ordered myself have fun with yours. We did not. Uh, narrator, we did not have fun with our pre-orders. I had fun. I didn't get one. But I did have an enjoyable time trying. Sorry, I'm making sure um, you know, I'm ready to capture the uh, screen. Oh, is, is that what you're doing? The recordings. You're not buying me time to try and sneak in a few more. I, I would not do that. No, I'm never a professional. You'd never do that. No. All right, I got three new circles that are spinning. I, 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 you know, it's just a laborious. I got to go over here and click fit to screen and get the record ready. And it could take me another at oh, least okay. three clicks. It looked, okay. it looked like Kyle on Kyle's screen that the door was open. And I was like, why isn't my door open? But it's not actually open. I, I'm entering through the big door. Now. Wait, why isn't the door opening? Hello, Oh, I'm Zions. looking at the wrong door. <laughs> <laughs> so many Scions. Nice. Uh, there are frame rate issues? Let me check. Uh, YouTube is happy as a clam, so try giving it the old F5. Um, I see a couple of those messages. I'm going to check it real fast, Kyle. Okay. I'm going to try looking at our own. I see a couple of those messages. Uh, oh. looks, looks great for me, which I'm sure is maddening to hear. But um, I have been having issues with lately on uh, my phone watching YouTube. It, like, sets it to, like, 240p, and I have to manually go in and tell it to do a higher resolution. So maybe check that. But other than mm -hmm. that, the best bet would be to refresh. Um, uh, stream is great for me, and YouTube says we're good. Sorry, everybody that's experiencing YouTube issues right now. Yeah. I'm just doing a little the talk around here. Gameplay is low. Oh, the gameplay for oh yeah, that, it is low. Why is that? 
Why, why is that? Why are you the way that you are? Because we're not. Our frame rate's good. Hmm. That is... Oh my god, that's terrible. That's concerning, Kyle. That is bad. Yeah, why what is would, it bad? What would be causing that? I don't know. Um... Hmm. I'm going to close out the store in case there's some kind of memory leak thing, but... I've got settings open for a window capture. That might not be helping. Hold on. Sorry that we have to troubleshoot, y'all. Oh, that appears to have fixed it. Oh, it was just the settings there were was open a on hidden, the screen. There was a hidden OBS window open for window capture controls from back when we were shopping. Is that better for everybody else? All right. Thank you for, uh, thank you for being specific. I was misunderstanding. All right, cool. I'm doing a click Whew. around. I'm so glad we don't have to restart the stream. Stinian says, we can't afford to fall to now. Graha wants to know how we slept last night. <laughs> Always concerned about how well we slept. Probably could have done with a few more winks himself. Oh, he's so sleepy. <laughs> oh, he's so sleepy. Hold it together, Graha. Well, I locked you in until that, conver that, that animation is done. So I thought I'd do a bit of research, hoping I would find it weary enough to doze off. But before I realized it was already morning, no need to scold me, I've already regretted it. I probably only feel the regret more keenly as the day wears on. Uh-oh. Oh shit, Orion J is, is talking about dreaming of Mimbrita last night. Everybody was having dreams. Well, yeah. we, I mean, we did go to the underworld, as it were. Orion J says, a vision not of the woman she was, nay, but the woman she would have become. Oh. We might have, you know, some lingering ethereal juices like radiation. Why well, you gotta make it more complicated? It was, you know, it was passing through us, surrounds us, binds us, It's before us. our final thing. Everyone has something on their mind the night before. I don't know, Thancred here says, not feeling any ill effects of the antioscope, are you? After playing test subject for those new etherites, even the mention of ether sickness makes me feel a bit queasy. So maybe everyone's feeling a little off. Ishtola's is being hopeful, despite Heidelin's death. Well, she was quite inspirational about it. Ah, here we go. Alphano says the final days have been observed further and further north of Garlemald. For blessing, those regions are largely uninhabited, but in any event, we mustn't interrupt this, or interpret, interpret misinterpret, this as, as a geological spread. There's no telling where the world phenomenon will strike next. So there's our, our ticking clock. Mm. Gods, I can hardly believe the Laparets managed to find Medion out there, says Alizé. Hidden among the stars, the sheer distances involved are mind-boggling. Well, they did have the USC? What, what's USB stand for? I don't know. Universal sinking crystal. Why are you complicating this with things I can't answer? I'm just, you know, I'm <laughs> saying they got the crystal, you know? It wasn't a very good crystal. And then this guy. Where's, uh, where's cool grandpa? You ready to talk to Fortuna? I'm ready. No, oh, straight into a cutscene. Not a talkie. No. Bring this up a little bit. Volume wise. Y'all let me know if it's good. Was I foreshadowing? Were you foreshadowing? I believe you were foreshadowing. Just do your best, Elden Ring. Everyone appears to be present and accounted for. Good. As you know, the Loperitz have deduced the whereabouts of Meteon by means of a crystal bequeathed to us by Hydaelyn herself. Why are you shocked you were there for this? Your quarry's location is a place far beyond the moon in the farthest reaches of the Sea of the Stars, at the edge of creation. A veritable Ultima Thule. Oh my, oh my. We got new names! All right. Indeed. How then are we to reach it? An excellent question. Luckily for you, I have an equally excellent answer. In theory, with its advanced propulsion systems, the moon is capable of delivering you to Ultima Thule, but the myriad uh, other 
facilities housed within would greatly impede travel through the Sea of Stars. Even the Mother Crystal may not possess ether enough to bear so massive a vessel to our destination oh. and back. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. However, if we integrate our hyper hopper into your ether burner, are we still doing phrasing? We should be able to fire things up and jump our way to the end of the universe in no time. Father, does this mean? Bear in mind, this decision was not made solely at my discretion, but with the consent of the Forum. Hearing the Laparit's proposal, the Forum was faced with a grave decision. To commit the Ark to this endeavor would mean abandoning both our plans to evacuate the moon, to the moon, and to resettle on another star. Needless to say, the proposition invited fierce debate. In the end, however, the Forum was swayed by the simple fact that Heidelin believed you possessed the strength needed to overcome this crisis. The Great Exodus was, after all, a plan of Heidelin's own making. Therefore, if in the eleventh hour she would proffer another means by which we may seek salvation, we would be fools to dismiss it out of hand. Indeed, she has sacrificed everything, her very existence, to avert the destruction of this star. That is why we have chosen to place our faith in Heidelin, in you. The Ark will be made ready for your voyage to Ultima Thule. What of all the people that have labored so tirelessly to prepare the evacuation? They must be furious. I would not be so sure. They have not forgotten your deeds on the Magna Glackies. Nor did your instrumental role in orchestrating the delivery of adamantite go unnoticed. No, the people do not protest. Quite the contrary. They have expressed unwavering support for you and your mission. Are the Loperates too willing to abandon the Exodus? Were you not listening when we said we were born of Heidelin's love for Aetherus and its people? If it means your survival, we would do anything to help. And you'll most certainly have need of our expertise where you're going. There's no guarantee Ultima Thule is a place that supports life. An otherwise vexing problem our know-how can remedy. Besides, Heidelin chose us to lead the way to Medion. Why else would she give you a crystal only we can decipher? But more importantly, we were perfectly content to evacuate Aetherus until you brought us here, Arianje. And now we are enamored with the place. So what choice do we have but to save it? Of course, none of this is possible without you and the Scions. So I must ask, are you certain you wish to do this? Mmm, <laughs> questions, er, uh, decisions, decisions. <laughs> I'm, no. I'm feeling very that final option right now. Because, boy, we have definitely come this far. Nah, I fought too much. I'm going top. All right. All in agreement. All Agre in agreement. Agreement all around. Agreement all around. Very well. We shall inform the forum of your decision. Began preparations to bolster the Ark with the, ah, uh, Hyper Hopper. <laughs> Poor guy. The Loperates will coordinate with the Ilzabad contingent to have the necessary components transported via the Tower of Babel. Of course, it will take time until the work is complete. Now, 
free. Take your ease. Uh huh. She's my microphone. Twould seem there is naught to do but rest and prepare. Shall we? I mean, at least Graha gets another nap, but surely this doesn't go well. Okay, okay, uh, Grumpy Mick uh, leader here is kind of down with us. The overwhelming majority were in support, but then again, you know, it's Heidelin's plan after us, not our plan. He's a good soldier. Yeah. He's a good soldier. To Boja, yep. That's where we're going, Chris. He loves democracy. That's where we're going. All right. Uh, well, how do I get out of here with, uh, without just climbing over the desk? Yeah, where are we going? Are we going to bed? No, we're walking outside. We're uh, speaking with Alphado just, out, just outside. Ah, pardon me. The speed with which these doors open is mildly concerning. That would, that would hurt. Just get decked. You would just get wrecked, man. Hello, Mr. Kyle. It's just, I'm just doing the click around. Bankrupt's like, ah, an opportunity to rest? You just slept. And it was dream sleep, which isn't always the most restful. But good times I need to hone my lance, says Astinian. Uh, Graha's just like me. Lying to himself that he's going to read on the airplane. <laughs> hey, no mind to me. I was just going to pick up my switch. <laughs> Oh, I didn't see Kral here. What's Kral? Yeah. Just talking about how the forum approves and how that's a bit of a shock, but everyone's on board with Hyland's plan. Sick. Let's help him out. I'm assuming it's just going to all explode, right? It seems weird that nothing would happen. You ready, Dalfi? I'm ready. Straight into another cutscene. As we depart, we must leave nothing undone. Quite. Though it is difficult to conceive of how one can best prepare to brave a domain where Dynamis governs all. Nevertheless, Heidelin deemed us worthy to travel, or of the trials that await. For lack of any other feasible option, at this late stage, let's trust in her judgment and face Miran as we are. Which leaves the not-so-small task of coordinating our efforts here to you and to Tara. Not so small, what? <laughs> if all goes to plan, we'll be back before you know it. I don't understand why he's surprised. I certainly hope. We'll be praying for your safe return. Mayhaps it will affect the Dynamis for the better. With that settled, we should get some rest and make the most of the time we've been afforded. Mm hmm? Yeah! The meeting o is over, isn't it? You were in there for so long, I started to worry. What did they have to say? We're taking the ship. The edge of creation, I see. Rest assured, everything will remain in order until you return, and you will return. Actually, Val, Tuna, could I borrow you for a moment? Looks like your plans for the interim are decided. When the two of you have finished, meet us back at the Baldessian Annex, all right? I think I know what this is. Dress up time. Yes. Time to dress up. Come with me to the Agoria. I have something to show you. Dress me up. Make me look fabulous. <laughs> but not that weird cage mask. That was kind of creepy, Totaro. I don't wear headpieces. Not sure why you did that. 
Making everyone who don't get headpieces very angry. Think of everyone, Totoro. Might as well jump. Might as well jump. We're in a hurry. Whoop. Except for relaxing. Have some heals. Well, thank you. Practicing for later. Ah, there's no thing. There's no thing here. Breaking the ankles. Now my ankles are uh, made of dynamis or something. I'm sure there's some, some lore there. Welcome, Valentuna, to Tataru's Taru Boutique. I've always done my best to provide the Scions with fashionable attire. But in your case, specifically, I make an extra effort to strive for the most functional yet stylish clothing one can ask for. Not that I'm playing favorites, but you are the warrior of light. Faced with the unprecedented crisis, I knew you would need an ensemble unlike anything I've created before, and that I wouldn't be able to do it alone. And so, I've enlisted the aid of the world's finest artisans. I finally completed my career-defining masterpiece. But then inspiration struck, and I saw a golden opportunity to just begging to be seized. With the help from some Pavnerian refugees, I decided to set up shop here in Charlie Of course, I would never charge you for any of our works. Perish the thought. Varsod? That's a choice. How are <laughs> things coming along? Are they behind the counter? Oh, they're behind the counter. Everything is in order, Mr. Sotaru. We'll be ready to open shortly. Which is why I brought you here, to be our very first patron. Would you mind waiting here for a moment longer? Wait at the destination. Ah. Destinating. Uh, hard to see with all the sparkles. Can we, can we get a little space, everybody? The following event cannot be skipped. <laughs> oh my. A dress up is a lengthy endeavor. All right. I'm waiting. Perfect. Several cutscenes. <laughs> Clemency in chat says, yeah, I mean, the plan is the end game. Oh, who could this be? Someone didn't expect to find us here. Rowena? Ah! Vitra. Oh, sure, sure. I imagine Nidhana would also wish to offer her regards. Alas, after delivering our dragon scales to the engineers, she remained to assist with their work on the ether burner. This simulacrum, too, will stay in Charlene, while I oversee matters in Radzat Han. It is a rather convenient means to keep abreast of developments pertaining to the final days or anything else. It, allow it also allows me, after a fashion, to watch over my people in this distant land. Barshan, I was hoping you'd stop by. I can't thank you enough for allowing your artisans to work here at my boutique. Please, it is I who should be thanking you. This establishment has restored a sense of normalcy to their lives. You have blessed them with newfound purpose and a means by which to support themselves in these troubled times. What's more, when they at last return home to Radzat Han, the experience and knowledge they have gained in your employ will no doubt prove a boon to the artistry and commerce of our land, and they may sell more than no fish. In fact, I came here to see how your new employees are settling in, and to express my gratitude for granting them this opportunity. It's an opportunity for me as well, believe you me! Your artisans have taught me so much about Thabnerian craftsmanship, their resourcefulness and ingenuity are nothing short of expiring. 
<laughs> inspiring, not expiring. Yes. It's a little hot in here. I can't wait to see what kind of wonders we come up with. Which, now that you mention that, I am concerned for the camera temps. I forgot. Oh. No. Oh, sure. I pray you every success in your endeavors, Mistress Tataru. Before coming here, I heard word of the forum's decision, of what will soon be attempted. It was only then that I finally understood why my father called this star the last bastion of hope. Indeed, it was the last bastion, for the flame of every other star he encountered had likely been extinguished. In the boundless dark, the light of brimming life must have been blinding in its splendor. Your journey unto the heavens to protect that light, may the scales of my kin serve you well. I have faith you will prevail and restore peace and tranquility to this star. I wasn't expecting to have a choice here. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I kind uh, of I, I, I'm going with mid. Yeah, I feel like I middle. I kind of hate most of these. Middle feels canonical because I've seen how many shops are there for Endgame. <laughs> God. And we should be honored to receive you. There is still much of Radzadhan you have not yet to see. <laughs> Forgive me, but I must take my leave. Fare you well and remember, the people of the star have not yet given up hope, and neither must you. Line them up. Who's next? <laughs> Take a guess. Arnvald? We haven't seen him in a while. I don't want to see... Uh, uh, we haven't seen Lise in a while. I want to see Hien, damn it. Oh, Hien would be nice. A voice acting scene for Hien. Where must I go to get a meal with some flavor in this wasteland of taste? Uh, Nero. <laughs> Please be Nero. <laughs> Be insulting fat. the local that cuisine. That would be fantastic. Oh, no, it's a man, Elaine. Uh, oh, no, he saw us. Oh, no. never ever your eyes. Uh, oh, yeah, you uh, made eye contact. Uh, oh, it's just like Thanksgiving all uh, over again. It's like when you go to the same restaurant too often and you, 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 you know the annoying waiter. Val, old boy, my, whatever are you doing here? A new boutique, you say? Mmm. I had been meaning to expand my wardrobe. Yes, something with a little more flair, perhaps, befitting a man of my station. Though I have nowhere to flaunt said remnants, so as long as my confinement continues indefinitely, I, the young Lord Fortin, insisted that so long as there is work to be done, no matter how trivial, I must abide here in Charlian. Thus do I toil through every fire of my being rails against it. Why, I've even suffered the company of that brute Sicard to see supplies transported in a timely fashion. Yet he was the one granted leave this morning to participate in some supposed covert operation. So I suffer instead for his otherwise welcome absence, now burned with my extra busy work, and without honor it here... There is no one to prepare my meals. I came here in the hopes of finding a nice cafe, perhaps. Alas, the Charlian delicatessens I've sampled were lacking in every respect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they all come up with the Archon. Yep, yep. Windmill slam in that option. Mm. I'm going to try the hearty meal. I want to know what you got. Uh... He's buying it. It sounds sophisticated like me, he says. The cafe over the pier, their cuisine didn't appear at all that appetizing, but if you vouch for their cooking, then perhaps I will give it a try. Thank you for suggesting, and ta-ta for now, old boy. I mean, if you go with Archon Loaf, you're basically telling a monoline to eat shit. 
Fish shit, but yes, yeah, fish <laughs> bread. Oh, <laughs> and no flavoring. <sighs> Is that night all right? Who next? He's so what is going on with that poor knight over there? Yeah, he's having a tough time. He's winded. Is that Tuna and Tataru and Val I spy, says someone. There's not enough... Uh, no, there's no context clues in that statement. No. Oh, my oh, favorite. Oh, of course. Of course. Hancock, what are you still doing here? You said you were returning immediately after dropping off your cargo. Yes, that was my original plan. After all, any expertise required aside from the delivery of goods is well beyond my purview. But what manner of entrepreneur would squander an opportunity to study the markets of the Northern Seas? Were we not, I will return straightways to Kugane once I have finished. Of course you would find a way to turn this crisis to your advantage. She wounds me, the industrious woman running a new boutique. I am not blind to the travails of those who fight on the front lines to deliver us from ruin. Indeed, I have every confidence they will succeed, and I would make myself and my business ready for their return. If you believe them so devious, devo devoutest? devoutly, devoutly, then why not put your money where your mouth is? Fair enough, Tataru. <laughs> oh, fair enough. There is not more I can do to help ready the Ark and her heroes for the maiden voyage, but on your return, I shall host a grand celebration in your honor at the Bakairo Inn. Accommodations are quite costly given the reputation of said establishment, but the East Altana Trading Company would be honored to foot the bill. With their... I mean, I want to go to a party. Yeah. Why, why would I say no? The dude's offering me free lunch. Yeah, I want, I want lemon yeah, cakes. Yeah, lemon cakes. I'll right, take yeah, a lemon yeah, cake right now. Man. I'll lemon cake the shit out yeah. of that. Oh, oh, men of taut tastes, I see. Yes, there will be lemon cakes and much much more. The finest delicacies the world and Lord Lolorito have to offer. I almost like you, and then you just gotta bring up Lolorito again. But let us speak more of this upon your return, lest I draw even more of Tataru's ire until next we meet. Now I want Doritos. <laughs> oh, Dorito? Yeah. Yeah. Low Dorito. Who next? Okay. Come on. Mysterious voice, mysterious voice, mysterious Come voice. Come on. Nero scene. Ferdola. Because we saw Hancock at the dogs. Kissing Arnvold on the cheek so, so romantically. Could be Nero. Decided to spend your time in the markets, did you? This, again, has no context mm, clues, so I'm clicking ahead. Okay. And it is... Oh, sure. Okay. Uh, not not Nero. I do I do. No, love no. But, you know, which, agreeable. Agreeable friends. Tataru? <laughs> Biggs, Wedge. I take it work on the arc proceeds apace? Aye. Was I, I was New Yorkering for, for I it's think been you were. so long. Yeah, it's been a I long time. Bits. I believe you've been you're doing your Carl. Collaborating with the greatest minds of Charlene and Rad's at hand has been a rewarding experience. And that does say nothing of what we've learned from the Loperitz. The Ark is unlike anything we've ever had the pleasure to work on. Even Nero was rendered speechless on the mo on more than one occasion. I can't wait for you to see it. And you'll never guess who paid us a visit before we came to Charlian? Alpha! I think he sensed the coming danger and returned to check on us. He, all, he was always one to turn up at a time of need, and I suppose that's why he decided to join us here in Charlian. Good thing, too. I don't know how he does it, 
but he has a knack for brightening your day just by being there. Still odd to believe we have the means to send you off into the great expanse, though. To the farthest reaches of, well, everything. I never thought I'd live to see such marvels. Yet, here I am. More often than not, you and the Scions are the catalyst that sparks the need for these great inventions. To think how much I've, I'd have missed out on had I not been a member of the Ironworks. An awful lot of work, to be fair. And the privilege of being worked like a card chocobo. <laughs> There's that too. As busy as we've been, I wish there was more we could do for you, Valentuna. But no matter what happens, we have to keep believing for a brighter future. I'm I'm liking that bottom one. Mmm. Yeah, go top. I like saying my friend that we do. <laughs> Got a bunch of thumbs up. Yep, same. When you head back, would you tell the engineers I'll be along shortly with refreshments? That's very kind uh, of you, uh, Tataro. I think that's Biggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Biggs? Oh, oh sure. Yeah, 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 Brig, yeah. yeah. Well, you very know, kind he, of he, you. Was, he, was, he was flapping his hands. <laughs> They'll be glad to hear it. And on that note, Wedge and I shall get going. Still a few more supplies to gather before we return. I mean, they basically have one brain cell shared between them, so. It's all good. Oh, he's still staring. Oh, he keeps, yeah, he's still staring. He's not going to know he left. Oh. He's, yep. So I say it was a problem, Smooth. baby. Oh, terribly sorry for the wait. Right this way, if you please. Right. I don't believe you two have been formally introduced. This is Varsar. How did you say this? What now? Varsaradu? Hmm. Varsarud? Varsarud. Varsarud. From the Palaka stand. Have we met before? I. I'm curious. I, I would never remember. say this in person because it's always like a really awkward <laughs> thing to say. Yeah, but I want the explanation. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if we have met before. Ah, uh, yes. It was you who helped us at Perusa, and again when crossing the ice fields, was it not? I, I doubt we exchanged little more than glances then, but it is kind of you to remember me. Thanks to Mistress Sitaru. I and many of my friends have found gainful employment in this foreign land. It is only natural to feel fear in the face of calamity. In such times, we must look to one another for strength and succor. I know not whether we will come to call this place home or return to Thabnair, but we are here today and are glad to have contributed to the cause. and contribute they did by helping to make new garments as durable as possible. We put our hearts and souls into them, and I have every confidence they'll keep you safe in the battle to come. Gods, think how far we've come since our humble beginnings at the Waking Sands. From the rising stones to the falling snows, and even a certain insufferable someone's ruby bazaar. We were always fortunate to find friends along the way. Even when you were swept away to the first, Grahati was there to grant you sanctuary. I'll never forget the relief I felt when you all returned to us. I thought my heart would burst. Yours has been a long, long journey. And I have been privileged to watch, often with bated breath, as you've persevered time and again. 
For all the joy we've shared, there's been much sorrow as well. But I've long since learned you can't have one without the other. Which is why I promise to send you off to the Sea of Stars with a smile. And you can be certain I'll be the first one to welcome you back on your return. I love the angry face during that statement. <laughs> with a smile. I'll be first, damn it. And if anyone gets in my way, I'll kill him. Don't forget your clothes before you leave. They were expertly tailored just for you. All right, all right. Uh, dividing record. I'm just replying to a very quick DM because oh. my DMs are blowing up because oh. well, someone, I guess, got a CE they, they don't want. That's very sweet. Right. Thank you for the DMs, everybody. I should be good from here on out. That's very thoughtful. Very, very thoughtful. Um, it is so hot in here. Let me make some AC adjustments. I'll be right back. All right. Mm, I want to play dress up, but I guess I'll sit here and not play dress up. At the moment. Turns the kind of person that feel good about commenting first on YouTube. Hey, good for them. I'm not I'm not gonna skip ahead and then I'd be reacting to a bunch of things that Garrett can't see yet. But I wanna like cause the Shadowbringers outfits were badass. I wanna dress up. Ooh, I can feel it already. The cool breeze is kissing my ankles. Delightful. All right. Dress up, dress up. Dress Mike up. active. Mike active time. Voss so rude. It's not the breeze that's Garrett. Yeah, I'm just farting on Kyle over here. Oh, crop dusting me. Yep. In addition to your new ensemble, we have raiments and weaponry for every need. So please feel free to browse our stock. A bold decision. <laughs> I, I say that a lot. I love that phrase. So uh, let me, um, for my own enjoyment, my speakers are the quieter than I want them to be. I just, oh, the night theme is just so freaking groovy. It's, it is solid. I have turned it on and just had, like, let it play in the studio before when I'm, like, working on stuff and adjusting lights. Hell it's, yeah. It is a vibe. All right. So, all right. By the way, Kyle, if it helps, I added a copy of the chat here on the left for you. Oh, thank you. Um, and all right, got my volume adjustment there. You may now obtain job-specific gear from Basarud. Ooh, what does it look like? The weapons and gear obtained. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That all sounds good. Oh, that's a cute little addition. Does yeah. Does it look cool? If you finish the roll quest, you get to die it. It's a nice. All right, let's start with tank. I think of okay. It looks like. Every yeah, every job is different. So what does Dark Knight look like? Try on. Ooh, that's handsome. Let's go ahead and save because the exposed thighs are a decision. Crank me two hundred percent. I'll just watch on your screen. Crank you two hundred percent. Yeah, make your window big so I can observe the fashion. In game. What? Oh, right click your window and make it two hundred. Scale window. There we go. There you are. There we go. And then where are the boots? Why do I have a tail? Oh yeah, you do have a tail. Oh, I'm not. Huh. Oh, not Is it, what's it really. attack? Is it the chest piece? What I, gives you a I'm, tail? I'm assuming it's the chest piece. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm not into that. That's interesting. That's 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 a choice. Hmm. I'm not into that. Free tail. <laughs> Overall, though, it is a it is a handsome set, but I'm not a headpiece person. But what does it look like? Is this adjustable? It is oh, adjustable. Ooh, oh, look man, at it's that! It's so rare you can actually adjust. Oh, that's the pretty thing. cool. That is cool. Does it have a weapon? Should I have a weapon. Let's see. Dark Knight's arm. 
Try. Oh, that's, that's oh, that, that just kind of melds, doesn't it? Does it glow or anything when you take it off? It doesn't look like it. No, it no, like it's just no a, glows. A red jumbly, and that's it. Well, it's free armor, you know. We've taken out well, glow the, the, would... the free Shadowbringer sword glows when you oh, did it? Unsheath it. Yeah, oh. it's subtle, but the the like dark, almost like Dark Knight icon pattern in it, like glows a brighter red when you draw it. You look like every Switch exclusive game villain ever. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? I don't look like uh, Ganon. I can sell this as a Switch exclusive. I'm talking, about, yeah. <laughs> Unicorn Overlord, Advanced Wars, just like all of them. This is cool. And I, yeah. will be, I will be adding it to my collection, but I will not be donning it for the finale. I like this set too much. Fair enough. So you're going to leave your bags on. Un... Well, well let's, uh, let's see more. I'm not gonna, well, yeah, hook, hook me up with what you would look like as a astrologian. As a healer? If you would be so kind. As a healer. All right, let's see. Astro. Let's start with the... With the oh, my God, it's the moon, dude. You got to buy this immediately. Oh, The moon wow, is in the freaking middle. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's actually a sphere, too. Oh, my freaking God. The head is... Well, it's classic, you I know, fugly mage hat. I, it's yeah. how it goes. Honestly, I feel like we've gotten so many of these this expansion that, that although you do get a moon, I like uh, yeah, the moon is iconography. Is awesome. I'm gonna hide it and continue on with the robes. Oh, you're okay. kind of your own Orion J. Yeah, you kind of got like a constellation yeah. thing going on. That's kind of cute. So this is a handsome set. Let me just grab it all. Mm. There we go. And Probably gonna be sandals. Yep. I don't like sandals. I oh, you get. Oh, Is no, that right? Yeah. You get poof. Oh, oh wow. I don't know about the poof. I'm not going to the edge of the universe and stubbing my toe. I'm wearing boots. I would pro I would probably pair a different bottom with these. But other than that. I mean, it would. Like, leave. remove that from the out. Oh, wait. What? Oh, that's just the pants. Does that have a hood? I would go with different pants. No, it does not have a hood. Oh, it's just got a tiny, a little, the tiniest cape. Yeah, it's kind of a, a double wrap. To flutter in the wind. Yeah. I like this set, minus the poofy pants. I'm not into the poofy pants, but I like the rest of it. I like the rest of it. All right, man. Let's, shall we continue? I'm just seeing if the... Also, other... you should buy your moon. We should... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the warrior is a proper... Uh, appears to be a proper R involved. Experience. Gunbreaker is a proper gunbreaker. These are, like, canonical I am, sets. I'm really struggling to... Um, I'm struggling to. My desire to play the game is at odds. No, I get you. I get with you. what my buddy's doing. Right, I must. Uh, hang on. I let, allow me to. I will control myself, and we will just add this to a stream of many things coming up. Yes, because this will I be. I would recommend, like, if you're into the moon, you should get that and and wield it. As we continue, I will. I will be buying. Scholar gets to be a vampire. Show it. Just, this is the last one. I promise I will control myself, and we will we will actually we will advance the plot. That's academia. Academic uh, or academic? That makes sense. What's the headpiece look like? I, I don't. I guess I. I guess you could call this vampire. I mean, you ruin it with the hat for sure. Yeah, the hat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, the yeah. hat like completely oh, removes you know what? Yeah, any it, vampire it's that, it's vibes. That, that neck, whatever you call that. A coif? What would you call that? But yes, that's very uh, interview with a vampire. Okay. Why is this light? delightful? There, there we go. All right, I'm mooning. I'm proper mooning. A cravat. Okay. Okay. You tataroing? Oh, thank you so much, Kit. I will be denying the jewelry. It's endgame. I'm going to get my own loot. Thank you so much, though. Appreciate it. going to learn how to craft and spend my tomes and grind. Grind. Hard. <laughs> Live free and grind hard. Veridin, thank you for asking for the esteemed Shets to proceed. We shall. Are you Tataroing? Uh, yes. Sorry. Hang on. <laughs> Says yes, and then asks Sorry, me to they, hang on. they did bring up an excellent point that these are all upgrades. So I'm gonna dress, I'm gonna redress, I'm gonna de sync my moon business. Are they upgrades for you? Yeah, yeah. Because what item level are they? 
Hang on, let me read to Tara. They I are realize... not upgrades for me. Okay, okay. So yeah, you, you've, you've been gifted crafting gear, I believe. Uh, I realize you still have lots to do before you depart, so I won't keep you any longer. I do hope that you find a moment to yourself that others can make as well. They said they were returning to the Destiny Exit uh, Annex. I can't. Though I doubt that they stayed for long. If you decide to go look for them, I suggest speaking with Kryal first. I'm sure they would have told you their plans. I would, I would like to ask for a little more warning every time. I'm just making sure I'm dressing up at, at the request of not delaying because I'm now going to dress up. While Kyle dresses, Bloodsy von Snuggagor, thank you for so much, but specifically right now, the 10 gifted memberships. Fred Neck Teddy supered the now traditional good luck, we're all counting on you. <laughs> Green Tea Lover, thanks for the super earlier. Said, grab a comfy pair of shoes, your favorite fanny pack, and a deliciously satisfying cup of green tea. Enjoy your walk to the end of Endwalker. We will be with you. Warm beverages seem awful with how hot it is in this room right now. But thank you, green tea lover. Rock Oracle said, important way to beat a game, buy a sequel. I was, it looks like I'm going to be successful through proxy. So thank you, everybody. Shout out to uh, Pothy and many other people who were like, I was able to get one. Uh, would you like it? Damn. Incredible. So I'm taking Pothy up on the offer. Uh, but Pothy, please be sure you don't actually want it. Thank you. Right. I just require a hat. Forgot my hat. You're good, man. You're good. I have ways to catch up. Flash Fox, we will enjoy the walk. Part one. Hope you were successful in your pre-ordering. Amarok supered earlier. I wanted to extend my thanks for the Endwalker streams as I recover from surgery. Ooh, feel better, Amarok. Hope we helped take your mind off of the recovery. Good luck to you, Thurboza. Uh, welcome well. to the Gearbox. Thanks for signing up. We managed to get the box. Kyle wasn't trying. Um... But uh, it, it appears I got friend privileged. It appears I got friend privileged. So shout out to everybody who offered their the ones that they got that they weren't sure if they actually wanted. Thanks for the help, everybody. I am ready. Sweet. Uh, let's see here. All right, we're uh, no point important. I'm walking. Okay. From henceforth, we shall walk. It's as she said. Oh my God, she said the thing. No, I, I said the thing. I said the thing, Kyle. They take away your run button. <laughs> Don't get it back until the expansion's over. No mounting allowed. I, it's I for server load, you know, it's to make sure the... I cannot zones. condone this buffoonery. Don't get overwhelmed. I can't do it. I can't do it. Doesn't look like walking to me. Reported for not walking. All right, Kyle says. Kyle says. You're back. I take it you received your gift from Tataru. Yeah. I don't like the tail, though, so I'm not wearing it. <laughs> I was surprised long, but it was a surprise long in the making. With many, many hours of fretting to get everything just right, I'm glad to see it realized and with great success. If you're looking for others, though, they've already taken their leave. Ishtola, Thangrid, and Orion J have all gone to the last stand for a bite to eat. Alizé and Graha, meanwhile, though their time would be better spent poring over books in the Numenon. As for Alphano and Astidian, well, they've elected to pay a visit to the Levier estate, though Astidian seems somewhat reluctant to go. I'm sure they would all be glad for your company, if you have a mind to seek them out. Should you be feeling peckish, I suggest heading over to Last Stand before you told the others finish eating. But above all else, it would be foolish to run headlong into battle with a fatigue mess. So do remember to get a good night's sleep. Hell yeah. Everyone's doing adorable things before heading off. I like that. Man, we were like, we were really lucking out with the, the weather. It's very pretty in Charlene right now. Poor Stinian has to face Alphano's Magic the Gathering collection <laughs> up in his room on the floor. 
Is, is he a boxes? Is he a card box oh, guy? It, it, the long boxes, yep. too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Wouldst thou like to uh, view the edition ones? <laughs> it's. Is thou a mono or a guild player? <laughs> oh, I see you favoring the weather seed tree folk. Oh my god. It's green easy. I'll just take green. <laughs> A cast overrun. Kalar, thanks for that Gemma Super right now. Said, here's your tour funds for the edge of the universe. I have no idea if money has any meaning there, but I'm certain my well wishes will still reach you. Thanks for the two amazing years. <laughs> thanks for being here for it all, Kalar. And the support right now. Appreciate it. Orianje is making sure that Pudding Way is getting some pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a shame, you know, they want to, like, eat better, but they're in Sherlian, so, yeah. Although, this food looks fantastic. Can we talk about that freaking panini? Yeah, well, you know, with enough wine, I'm sure anything can taste fantastic. We can judge. Looks like Thancred's having a burger. Yishtola, perhaps, having at this cheese plate and Where's some pizza. Thancred? Oh, wait, he's right there. Oh, yeah, my God, that, that, you know, Thancred. Oh, because I was avoiding clicking on him because of the meteor icon. Well, shall we? Indeed. I'm Thancredding. This is Thancred. Tuna, Val. Come to make our trio or quartet, have you? Uh, 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 what's it when it's five? Doesn't matter. Please, have a seat. We'll see about getting you a drink. That you'll probably turn down because that one time you were poisoned. That one time. That or we didn't want to be too much of a lush in front of Amaric. Your business with Chitauri was finished. Wine and confirmed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to sync up? I am ready. First sync of finale part one. If you got a three, two, one emote, let it fly. Kyle, on my mark. Three, two, one, go. My, what a thoughtful surprise. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever would we do without her? Indeed. And she's right, you know. It hasn't been all doom and gloom. Feels like a lifetime ago that Master Louis Soir gathered us together to form the Circle of Knowing. Since then, we have experienced much. But rather than feeling wiser, the more I learn, the more I find my knowledge lacking. Forsooth, as a student, vainly did I believe that I held the secrets of creation in my grasp. Yet that which I had seized was but an insignificant sliver of what awaited in the wider world. Every encounter, every experience hath served to open mine eyes, enlightening and humbling me in equal measure. Even from those whom I called enemies have I learned many a valuable lesson. He is going hard. That is a massive drink. <laughs> but her wine glass isn't big. You, you don't typically the fill them to the top. <laughs> you don't. Ultima Thule, where the bringer of the end makes her nest. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> By the one can't yeah, imagine. hell yeah. Chug it. After a line like that. <laughs> but whatever awaits us there, we will survive. We must. For her. The top it's a one. wide array. The top one is so specific. I love the top yeah, one. Yeah, I think you got to Yeah. yeah. Sink? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Saying names is important. <laughs> is what the matter? A hit. No, it's nothing. I just... Well, lately I find myself surprised at how much I've changed. 
how much we've all changed. <laughs> we've come far together. And if we have aught to say about it, we'll go further still. Oh man, I would kill for Aye. some pizza. We will avert this calamity and return home. In preparation for which, we must give thought to what we hope to achieve after the proverbial dust has settled. What with the primals and Asians all but dealt with, I suppose we'll need to look for new hobbies. In all seriousness, though, in uniting to overcome a common foe, the disparate peoples of the world have found a way forward together. It's a truly gratifying sight to see. Indeed. Though it was many years in the making, we have successfully set in motion the gears of fundamental change. With this, we have fulfilled our humble role as a symbol of hope. And I dare say it is time to bow out. After all, there is no shortage of hands to bear the torch in our stead. You know, I never really considered I might live long enough to see an after. But even if my time as a scion came to an end, I don't expect that much will change. Traveling the world, going wherever the wind blows, lending a hand to those in need. A journey for journey's sake. It doth suit thee well. I must confess I too have yearned to see more of the world. If thou art amenable to the suggestion, I would accompany thee. Mine ability to affect an air of normalcy through artful disguise is much improved, thou must concede. <laughs> Aye, well, improvement is relative. You still look suspicious no matter what you wear. <laughs> What of you, Ishtola? Any grand plans? Why, continue my quest for knowledge, naturally. To begin with, I wish to know the state of the reflections, to which end I must find a means to travel between worlds. Hell yeah, all right. Tis the least I Laying must do if I am to keep my promise. Should my pursuits prove unduly arduous, I won't hesitate to call on you. And in return, I will take you to see Reen one day. I'm sure you cannot wait to see the fine young woman she has become. <laughs> Spare me. <laughs> <laughs> and what of thee? What wouldst thou pursue at duty's end? Beach. Here's yours. My apologies for the wait. Well, shall we make a toast? To victory. To our comrades. To the future of the star. how fun this is. I don't trust it. Perhaps we could dawn some sort of trail. <laughs> trail some... Blaze a trail toward dawn? Oh, man. Alright, so folks said that was a tad quiet, so let's... I do believe at some point, for some reason... Yeah, my master volume is usually close to 30. No, that's not looking a bit high, but I did bring up mobs, so maybe... One DB. Let's try this. 
That gives me some wiggle room. If it's quiet for the next talky scene, I have some headroom to adjust. Very loud? Okay. We'll do that, and then... I also, I know a lot of people find the sacrilege. I do usually have BGM at about 80. So that for voice cut scenes, the voice cuts through. Let's bring that to about... I think it was at, a, I usually queued at about a minus seven. Master at 30. All right. All right. <clears throat> perfect, perfect, sounding good. All right, all right. I'll, uh, I'll hazard, I'll sneak a glance at chat for the next talkie scene because um, I now have some adjustments I can make in OBS, which means I don't need to pull up a menu in game in the middle of a cutscene, which is what I was avoiding there, but kept it quiet. I'm assuming Kyle is uh, optional dialoguing here. Oh, yes, Orianje appears to be drunk. Oh, he is quite drunk. Drunketh. I say, Val, Tuna, whence came this <coughs> simulacrum that standeth beside thee? I see, falsely, but ye stole and thank you. That's moments ago employed the self-same doubling magic. All right, then. <laughs> Keep thy secrets. <laughs> Hell big, yes. Big meme energy. Thankard says, You can always count on your friends to help you maintain perspective. A pity mine take a perverse pleasure in it. I'd like to think I give as good as I get. Though I'd fare better with the occasional assist from our consummate Nada. But it's all in good fun, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Consummate nodder. Brutal. <laughs> Shtola. I'm Shtola Ing. Leaving so soon, I suppose it's for the best. If you'd rather not explore the bottom of the bottle with Orianger. I mean, I would like that. It does sound like a good time. I dare say the others would welcome your company as well. If you can find, the, find them, that is. In any case... As long as you make the most of your time, then that is all that matters. All right. Uh, now we need to find Alze and Alphano in no particular order, it would appear. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to port for that one over to the Studium. Oh, wait. One's at the Studium and one is at the Leviera State. So. Choose your adventure. Where are we going? Uh, I'll go to Studium first since that's where I said... I would go. Sounds good. I'm a man of conviction. That made me miss playing D&D &D so much. Oh, when things settle down, we should do a one-shot. Not just, you know, and like sitting around the table. Mm. Just being amongst the friendship. All your uh, new local friends are really good at making drinks, too. So I know, I know. It'd be a good table experience. There will be a time in the future. All right, nerds. <laughs> Graha's dozing off. Uh, he's, he's sleepy snoring. from last night. He's you know, he didn't snoring. sleep well. Alize says. Oh, she's no, not not to. Yeah. Try to speak, but she is fast asleep. Quick time minigame, build a stack of books for her to lean against. <laughs> Weird time for a cat nap. Can you unlock this power? Oh, oh. <laughs> Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. That is the right answer. If I ever catch you napping, I'm now just going to join you. Oh. <laughs> Knowing them, they're probably dreaming about the celestial adventures to come. Just as well. They've been running themselves ragged of late. Unlike you and the others, I'm a few steps removed from the danger and excitement. The things you all get up to never fail to impress me. But by the same token, I can't help but worry. 
Not only for your safety, but... but for your happiness. After everything you've sacrificed, you earned it a thousand times over. From the simple pleasures of tucking into a hearty meal or, or collapsing into a comfortable bed, to the grand triumphs of visiting legendary lands or finding true love, you deserve all the joy in the world. There is so much that life has to offer, so much to be treasured and shared with those we hold dear. So promise me this. Come what may, you won't give up on your own happiness. When you're out there fighting tooth and nail, it's all too easy to forget. But in the end, your passions will be your greatest strength of all. Remember that. familiar. Well, tis good to be... Uh, wait. What are you... What am I... <laughs> Gods, don't tell me I fell asleep. Not that there's any shame in it, but you were sleeping like babies. Every streamer's oh. fear. How embarrassing. <laughs> I heard you're making money sleeping on Not stream. a word to anyone. Understood? Not one word. <laughs> I'm told that sleeping in proper beds of your own choosing is a much more effective way to prepare for battle. <sighs> so, what were the two of you doing here? I had a few books to return to the library. Thought I'd take care of it while I could. And you? Co-napping. <laughs> top. I'm going top. Sleep when baby sleeps. <laughs> you ready? There, I like it. Three, two, one, go. There you go. Yep, shush, yep. Yep. It's a secret. That's <laughs> how you sync up. You take a nap together. Just give it three years and post Kyle's speech there, like Steve from Blue's Clues on Twitter. No idea what you're referencing. <laughs> When Steve came back and was like, you're doing great, everybody. I've missed you. I've been off at college or whatever. I didn't think that was a Twitter thing. No? no. Not familiar with Steve? I am familiar with Steve. If you just said the video when he came back, I would have been like, oh, I kind of remember that. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a Twitter thing. I don't remember a Steve Twitter thing. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm sure they're still embarrassed. Oh, yes. Yep. 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 I'm off to go get a snack, apparently. Orianje's drunk, go check him out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Alphano. Uh, let's see the port crystal up here. Oh, I didn't know there was going to be a magic set for Final Fantasy. If true, that would be wicked. First time hearing it. If it's a proper set, not like, you know, alt card arts. Alt card art or the crossover commander set. Yeah, I mean, those are neat, but not as much as, like, when they do oh. the D&D full on crossover. Oh, is uh, bringing the drip. Oh, but, you know, he's got a dagger. He's got to make sure, you know. Oh, shit. He's ready to roll. He's got his, what, end of Heaven's Ward garb? Isn't that what he was wearing? Um, Or is not this a new outfit? Sure. Because he had that... He had that the, adventuring set he from had the Shadowbringers. He had the plunging neckline. Stormblood. Well, yes. 
mean, what a waste of his pecs to not have a plunging neckline. Dripstinian. Dripstinian. I don't think it is the first time I've seen you out of your armor. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Actually, I have to say. Surely this isn't the first time. Ah. All right. I'm Alpha Knowing. All right. You know what? Let's see. Oh. What brings you here? I'm disabling to ready. Do it quick. Yep. Are you on here? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Go. Probably should have assumed this was voice. They've all been. Ah, so you were worried that the Levia household might again be gripped by turmoil. <laughs> all is well, I assure you. In my letters home, I had made mention of Astinian, you see. My mother wished to meet the legend in person, and so we arranged to have a spot of tea together. Where were you in my hour of need? Fell beasts I can face, but I'm not made for idle chit-chat with lords and ladies. <laughs> well, I for one thought you held your own. Mother was the oh, picture we of missed delight. It. <laughs> Probably a story I might have website. been delighted myself, were we in a tavern with more agreeable drink. The thought of fleeing crossed my mind, but what then? I'd never hear the end of it. Least of all from Tataru. I'm sorry. It was not my intent to cause you such distress. It's just... It was one of the things I didn't want to leave undone ere we set forth. That's not to say I think we won't be returning. Yet, given what lies ahead, I did not wish to leave for later that which I could do today. After all, tomorrow is never promised. It's fine. Not like I had better things to do. Besides, seeing you with your mother brought back fond memories of my own. Be we rich or poor, family is family you old softy well it's past time we were on our way wait Since I left home, I've made a great many mistakes. Mistakes for which I can never make amends. But through it all, you didn't give up on me. To have returned here with you at my side, it means more to me than you know. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Forgive me, but it needed to be said. I'm the one who owes you thanks. Were it not for you, I would not be alive today, nor come to terms with Nidhogg's spirit. I am ever grateful. And heaven's word slaps. Yeah. Uh, I want to get on it. I'm <laughs> going course, top. Yeah, I want to get yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah. What do you, what do, you do? Yeah. 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 Three, two, one. Thank. Bring it in. <laughs> well, we needn't make it a competition. You know, this must be what Heidling meant when she spoke about depending on one another. However treacherous the road before us, together we will prevail. Is 
desire to replay Heaven's Ward. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Half expected everything to explode there for a moment, but oh my god. Read the broom, Kyle. Well, you know, we completed the third quest. You know, it could have all been like, anyway. Final days, remember those. Everyone's having these extremely, like, thoughtful, quiet moments. And well, that's why you Kyle's say... Kyle's just over here! That's why you say these things. Just delivering every before line! You, before you break down the door with your explosions. That's a hell of a scene. As someone who really was not down with Alpha now in the early stages of this game. I mean, it, that dude has been on a journey. Is anybody... I mean, I'm, just, I'm sure there are people who are like, oh, yeah, sure there's some people I, like, I like the cut of his jeans. I love that guy. Is that Final Family? That's Final Family. Final Family, thank you for gifting leaderships. Bosses everybody around. Tells you what to do over and over again. Can't even collect sticks for a fire. Can't even collect a group of people called the Crystal Braves without just like being like, what if I collected everyone who becomes a traitor? Yeah, what if you're in a background check? All right, I, you know, people are telling me now that volume's loud. I don't trust anyone anymore. I'm gonna trust, I'm gonna put it here and that's where it's gonna live. Okay. I guess I had a cheese plate. What's a charcuterie? Has invented an Elpis. Wait, what? I'm 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 hearing that we are being graced by the real life Alphano in chat right now. Oh, Colin Ryan, are you here? What is your account? <laughs> are you just Colin Ryan? All right, I gotta look at this. I gotta look for the. Oh I'm, my! I'm I'm looking at chat now for any any sign of this. Excellent performance. Thank you for your work. Yeah, yeah. Also, if you are here, thank you for following us on Twitter recently. We really appreciate it. That's true. Uh, big fans. Big freaking fans. Um, you know, if if the internet is... Oh, yep, there, there you are. Damn. There we go. There we go. Good to see you. Yeah, welcome well, Thanks for you. stopping by. Uh, and, you know, uh, that's how the internet works. Uh, if you ever want to come on the podcast, we'd love to have you. Love to talk to you about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got uh, Jesse. To, uh, we got Jesse on Friday. We got Amanda on Monday. But if you'd like to come on a future episode, we'd love to have you. And, you know, now we're Twitter connected, so we can we yeah, can chat well, through the, there. The, the no Twitter. need to plan this right here and we'll now. We'll see you on Twitter. <laughs> but thank you've for got more by. to say in the video game too. That is extremely kind of you. Um, I am going to geek out about this to Katie later and be like, "Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> what are the main character voice actors came by?" <laughs> Uh, Aaron, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Colin Ryan. I do believe Colin has set up a Twitch stream, though. So go, go thank oh, Colin over there. True. Yes, <laughs> go thank Colin directly. Oh, that's freaking ah, oh, ah, oh, that that ah, oh, that's my heart is warmed. What, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm having a snack. I've oh. got my dad bag. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad bag is that a giant fake Newton? Yeah. Yes. Oh. I mean, it's a raspberry fake Newton. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Kyle's so overwhelmed with Starstruck, he needs to eat. I grow hungry in the presence of stardom. You need I a mean, minute? No, I got my dad, but I got my applesauce pack. <laughs> you know? Frick. I haven't had applesauce in like I got lemonade here. 10 years. I got it all. Kyle has taste. No, Kyle is experiencing taste. Kyle's experiencing taste. I'm ready. I hunger for more. Oh my goodness! Uh, this is uh, this is rad. So we all we all feeling okay, chant while uh, while Kyle while Kyle's sustenance is. Oh, I mean, feel free to to continue go on. Away. All right, if that, if I if no, you, I'm if, I'm ready. If yeah. I have your clearance, these I'm, are I'm convenient gonna do it. snacks made for play. Welcome back, Valentuna. Returned to catch a f final few winks before embarking on your mission, I presume. You'll be happy to know your chambers have been cleaned and fresh linens laid out. I pray you enjoy the sweetest dreams on this final night before the big day. Oh, don't say that. Mm. Are you ready? We should probably sync this up. Yes, I agree. Are you hovering over yes? I am now. 
Three, two, one, go. Oh, nope, freaking hell. Did it yet. Are you hovering again. over complete? Yes. Wait, no, complete means we have to get the next quest, right? Or sometimes it doesn't cut. Let's cut down. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's cut down. Three, two, one, go. Nope. Nope. I think you're well, no, hold sometimes on. it still does cutscene after it does that. Hey. Yes. Hey. We got it. The Knight what? of the Royal Menagerie in Alamigo. Xenos? Uh, he could be there. Getting weird. I mean, or at least could be there singing a song again. Good check in with Lee's. Oh, no, yep. There he is. There's the troublemaker. Cool. Wow. Look at the hair. I think anyone not thinks Xenos is cool as shit. I mean, it's a little past cool. You will never get what you want. Not even the battle you pine for so dearly. He's getting one guy. <laughs> He is the one guy. But he's getting one guy by Alize. <laughs> In that transcendent moment, what was it that I sought in you? And what was it that you sought in me? You just see. Oh, I really like Xenos. He seems like small potatoes at this point in the story. Oh, and thus it dawns. Hmm. The day of reckoning. Oh, damn. That's how I felt entering the studio this morning. How often have we thus assembled? To combine our knowledge and seek solutions to the problems before us. Back at the Waking Sands, it was all we could do to address the most minor of troubles. Who could have realized what we'd find when we began to look to the sources of the realm's woes? At the Rising Stones, we made great strides and shared many moments. From the joyous to the sorrowful. We've had occasion to call other places home, too. Be it Ishgard or Kugane, we were fortunate to find sanctuary wherein we might take stock and continue our fight. I was honored to host this company in the Crystarium. To stand with you all as we confronted the truth of the star itself. And now from this place, we go to fight the most important battle of all. The forum has sent word. The Ark is ready. The Loperates naturally will be commanding the vessel. They will see the eight of you to Ultima Thule. New zone hype. Upon arriving, 
Your objective is to find and vanquish Meteon. As a final formality, the Forum bade me ascertain your resolve. So, are you certain you wish to do this? We are. Then, ere you report to Thalmasane, I leave you with these words. You must triumph. What that means will differ for each of you. To make it back home, or to simply avert doom, or perhaps something else altogether. Yet whatever it is that drives you, I have faith in its power to see you through. So please, triumph. Triumph, as we who remain behind believe you will. Let us be off then. Ooh, this thing is too cool to stand in the group. Mm. Wait! He's too nervous. Both Kryle and I will be there to see you off, but as your receptionist, I feel I need to say this here. Safe journey, all of you, and oh, be safe. I can contain my hope no longer. First of all, <laughs> massive disappointment. Apparently, Nero won't be piloting the ship. <laughs> my rage and disappointment are unsurmountable. However, this can all be redeemed with a hole blown in the side of the ship as we're traveling through space and a little bunny being like, Captain, Captain, ah! just getting like sucked out the air hole. The vacuum is spaced, and they're like, ah, we can't hold on! And they're like calling up the engine room. They're like, we need more power! We can't do it! Engine way, what's going on? Engine way's gone, man! He's freaking gone! Like, now they're in a space suit, like, with the little tether attached, and like, ah! Just uh, I share, complete chaos. I share the feeling of mental assault that I am sure many in stream are feeling right now. <laughs> Full power! <laughs> do it. Go for a game, full blown. Kataru is about to cry, and your brain, it just goes to, damn it, no Nero, I need bunnies to die. I said I contained myself long enough. I've waited through, yeah. I let everyone enjoy that cutscene without me interrupting with We're that. We're still in the cutscene. I know, well now we can say, <laughs> I believe you too, Tar Tataru, I love you too. We may continue now. <laughs> I, I, you don't get to drop that and tell me when I get to, when I am capable of continuing. <laughs> it's my full Denethor. Yes, that is my wish. Jesus Three, two, one, go. Feel sweaty. <laughs> Shall we, Oshika? On to the heavens we go. Uh, Shigeo, thank you for the generous super. Very much appreciated. Enjoy the VOD when you get to it. You'll be in good company. Oh, goodness gracious me. 
Oh, and thank you to our mods for uh, promoting our uh, our Patreon. Check it out. Support of Oh, thank you, mods. Are you ready to Ojika? I am ready. Unto the heavens. I see a ship, Kyle. Whether Get in the or, ship. Whether or not a hole will be blown in the side of it, I cannot. I cannot say. I suppose this is where we part ways, for now at least. Would that I had the sage words of wisdom to share ere you depart. Mayhap the teachings of Galath Baldessian will suffice. Surrender not to anger or hatred, he said. Look beyond them, and there find true strength. What one sees beyond is open to interpretation, I think, but for me, it would be the things I cherish most in life. Things I believe are worth fighting for. Something to consider as you venture unto the Sea of Stars. I'm thankful for Kyle's outbursts. I'm thankful for your focus <laughs> and intent. <laughs> it's the end, man. I'm just, I'm so tapped in that when you hit me with <laughs> shit like that, like, I wouldn't want you to be any other way, but it's hitting me with more impact than usual. <laughs> quickly, quickly. The music's playing quickly now. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Run, run, the the loop is back. The loop is back. Drop, drop your freaking parasol and hit that the sprint button. The father. The loop, the loop. The loop is on fire. Yes, 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 yes. Let me in, let me down, let me down. No cars, no cars. No time for cars. No time for cars. Unless it's my car. Quickly before the cars are loading. Where's my car? There we go. Get in, jump Hop in, in nerd. Get in, loser. Ride Peloton. I'm doing it. I'm running with you. Ah! Nope. Hang on. This is this is less action packed, but it doesn't allow me to do it while moving. There we go. There you go. Sorry for making you drive in front. I tried to go second. I misclicked. <laughs> what I am? I your chauffeur? Yes, please. I'll give you a five star. This is how we get to the end walk. That's how we do it. This is how we do it, everybody. To the ship. To the ship. Actually, my knees in the up. back of your chair. All right, I feel like I'm kind of belying the intensity of the situation. <laughs> this dock looks great. Oh, hey, Alpha. Yeah, freaking tastic. Parents are here. Uh, are you? Where, where'd you go? I'm I'm doing my best, uh, King Theoden, and oh, hahaing oh, people randomly as I run by. <laughs> Ride, death, oh my God. death. Wait, oh, Nidhana? <laughs> oh, pardon me. I cut my haha short on you. I'm not seeing uh, anyone uh, dropping any massive lore bombs in the optional dialogue. I think it's all just, yeah, it's going to be a lot of uh, hope and good wishes of everybody who doesn't get to go. But we do need to keep it as light as possible for maximum speed and fuel efficiency. Weight savings. Savings way. Savings way, yeah. That's where I. That's where I do my shopping. It's the the big lots of the 14 universe. <laughs> he still has not. All right, I'm gonna get in on this. Hold on, real quick. Where's my Where's my cheer? Here, this will go faster if I help. There you go. You make your round. Or Boulder. You 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 get an extra. You get an extra cheer, Guts. Because you're always dressed the best. All right. I'm fortune owing. Okay. Oh, the, the Moon Breeze fans are here. Yeah, I said that when we came in. Oh, oh my goodness, I have a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> Orion J mentions them for a moment. Well, yeah, I mean, they're standing right there, right? Like, yeah. that'd be kind of intense. 
Oh my god. Okay, let's do it. Let's force you. No! We're logging in. Oh, pretty in sync. Let it ride. We can let it ride. Oh, the freaking the, the, the freaking harp. All present and accounted for. Good. As you will have heard, the ark is ready. All that remains is to board and be on your way. Oh, I've seen my fair share of tight schedules, but this was bloody murder. You might be getting way. Oh you my want, god, buddy. oh my god, do it. But we did it. We finished the ship. Don't play with my emotions. It's safe, fit for purpose, and looks good to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a garland through and through. I really don't know what we'd do without you. Thank you. For everything. Ah, oh, don't mention it. Ever since that episode with Omega, I've been toying with the idea of starfaring vessels. Tease for future expansions? And as they say, necessity is the mother of invention. Hmm. We've learned a lot, let me tell you. I want to know later what happens if you didn't do Omega, if that's a thing. In case you're wondering about payment, the ongoing existence of the world ought to do. <laughs> But feel free to throw in a colorful recounting of your journey on your return. So, have you thought of a name? Oh, it, we need a name of the damn thing. A name? Wasn't everyone just calling it Father's teeny tiny toy boat? <laughs> what? Damn! What? Wow, well, right in front of him? purpose has changed, I thought a more eloquent name was in order. I suggested as much to Fortuno, who seemed quite amenable to the idea. Somewhere. As you know, this vessel is the culmination of heretofore unprecedented collaboration. I do it. And though said collaboration is owed to the Scions, there is another whose noble deeds made our work possible. You call it the Heidelin? From a fragment of Dalamud, we obtained not only advanced materials such as refined adamantite, but the knowledge to traverse the stars. And this fragment would not have found its way to us had the Archon Louisois not fought to protect uh, this world. No and in so doing, laid down his life. Now that the vessel stands complete, I cannot help but wonder if it was more than mere happenstance. If it was my father's intention to guide us here. In the hopes that his guidance will see you all safely home, I name the vessel after that self-same fragment of Dalamud he delivered unto us. The Starship Ragnarok. Cool name. It doesn't suck. Sorry for the wait. I got everyone you asked for, and not a one less. Fish wizard is here, Kyle. <laughs> His big reveal. What are you all doing here? Oh, I invited them. The representatives of those tribes with religious inclinations. <laughs> You've done a fine a job of readying the runner yeah. up, but for it to take flight, we'll of course need the power of the mother crystal. Given its immense size, however, transporting it would be an absolute logistical nightmare. Not to mention we'd need to shatter it into tiny shards for feeding to the engines. But a brilliant idea came to me. 
We convert the crystal's energy into forms that can transport themselves. Oh no. It's gonna fly on hopes and dreams. <sighs> Thou wouldst employ summoning, or should I say its precursor, creation magics. Care to explain for our benefit? As you may have witnessed at Best Ways Borough, the Lopperids are capable of creation magics, which they use to shape the moon's environment. Yet simple though they make it seem, it is a highly advanced and exacting art. To perform it correctly requireth that the wielder holdeth the object in his mind's eye in clearest detail. Hence the ancients' meticulous management of concepts. Drawing upon this art, the Asians conceived of summoning as we know it. A derivative that replaceth the complexity of concepts with the simplicity of zealotry to make manifest a creation. No, oh, aren't you so that, fancy? That's cute. I mean, that's cute. I see. By combining the Loperit's magics and the tribe's faith, we convert the Mother Crystal into primals of purer form and greater obedience. Summoning as it was intended, one might say. Indeed! Indeed! While Hydaelyn gave us the ability to use creation magics, she forbade us from using it to make anything possessed of a soul, or similar. She didn't say anything about fulfilling the desires of others, though. So, borrowing our friend's faith, we'll create deities using the Mother Crystal's power and send them to the Ragnarok! <laughs> That's nuts. Am I the only one here concerned about the risk of being turned into a tempered minion? Oh, right, I was getting to that. From what I've read in Charlian tomes, it appears the Asians incorporated an additional nasty element into their summoning method. The fervent desire to assimilate others into one's belief. Beings thus created are instilled with the self-same desire and use their powers to enthrall people, starting with the summoner. In contrast, our creation magics, the original and the best, except no substitutes, <laughs> don't incorporate any of that rubbish. So there's no risk of tempering. I mean, if the being was on the scale of Zodiac, you might feel a little tug. But I think we'll be safe enough. I would like all extremely dark concepts to be explained to me by Living Way from now on. Truth be told, I do not understand the intricacies of this plan. But none of us would ever turn our backs on you. When the avatars of our faith ran amok, you intervened without decrying we who birthed them. Please tell me I get to see Susano again. Where others vilified and suppressed us, you offered understanding and friendship. In gratitude, we will share with you the true expressions of our gods. Not malevolent deities, but benevolent saviors. All right, you lot, we're heading to the ethereal sea. Stay in sight, else you're liable to get lost. Lead the way. May we have a moment? Of course. In anticipation of the day man might journey to the stars, we developed these. Portable teleportation devices. One for each of you, designed to work in tandem. Huh. Press the button on one, and in a matter of moments, all eight will activate and send their owners back to the Ragnarok. There is no telling what hazards you may encounter. If you find yourself separated or lost, please do not hesitate to use them. Be safe, all of you, and come back. 
I'm sure nothing will tra nothing tragic will happen with those teleporters. You as well. I pray you take care. Looks like everything is in order. So I'll go ahead and board. A few of my fellows will remain to assist with the summonings, but rest assured, the vessel won't want for competent crewing. It's so small. If you are ready, then you should board as well. Go. And Godspeed. This has such finale energy, man. Like, every scene has so much weight. And now we're going full Star Trek with, like, teleportation devices. Well, and they set themselves up for such a cool Avengers Assemble moment, but instead it's a Primals Assemble moment where yeah. you get to have, like, Ifrit throw the ship one space and then Garuda throws it another space and... <laughs> Something like that. Like, choo, choo, choo! But the real, I mean, the thing that would have lingered in the back of your mind but you didn't think it would be an issue is Portiono, to be a good father, had to forgive his father. And that's what they did there. Oh, but yeah. you would have been, you still would have been like, wasn't there something about him that was still kind of dickish? I don't really recall. Right. Something's bothering me about him. And they did. They cleared it up. Yeah, yeah. Now, Fortuno is is, is, is is now officially well-adjusted. He's yeah. firmly in the camp of well-adjusted. To be a good parent, you must also reconcile the own parenting that was applied to you. It's, it's Fast and the Furious. <laughs> <laughs> about family, you know? It's about family. It's always been about family. It's about family. It's always been about family. It's about family. Uh, it's also, also Carrie and thank you, who uh, just, like, hawked 20 memberships into the crowd during that time. Nice. Thank you, Carrie. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah. It's about family. And if you're final family in chat, it's extra about family. All right, man. Uh... Talking to our good buddy who we know very well, Egg Leaf. Oh, yes, of course. The real character of the moment. Yeah. For the sanity of this stream, I can also New Game Plus to visit all these people later. It's a lot of, uh... It's because everyone is back. I mean, man. everyone's it's, here, yeah. The stars, all the stars are here. What was this like for people playing it in the moment? Were there actually, like, hordes of people standing on top of all the Scions trying to talk to them? Oh, that's a good question. Was that doable? Yeah, that's a good question. Yes, yes, oh, a lot that, of yeses. Yeah, that sounds rough. It is a cavalcade of yeses in chat right now. So yeah, so for like people who like were worried about folks like hanging out on stream, like everyone's being super respectful tonight. I just want to say thank you uh, for giving us some space and letting these letting these zones breathe. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Um, also, some thanks are in order because uh, KLG Chaos just gifted uh, twenty freaking memberships, followed by, by Lost Mythics who just gifted 50 freaking memberships. So um, thank you for the generosity, everybody. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, Kevin M, thank you also for gifting 10. We'll break here. Um, and uh, if you've supered and we haven't gotten to it, um, we usually do what we call a super forum after MSQ streams to catch up on anything we missed. That'll be this coming Tuesday. About this, so a week from today, we'll be back to uh, catch up on any messages we missed. But uh, thanks for the support, everybody. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna check back in. I'm just curious, whatever. Like, I'm curious myself at this point, Kyle. Like, Who I'm are you curious about? Well, I, I mean, I just kind of want to check in. I'm not gonna read it all verbatim like we tend to do, but I'm gonna point out things I find interesting. I'm saving Nero for last. <laughs> A lot of it can be summed up in, uh, we'll handle things while you're away, which... Yeah, I'm noticing a pattern for sure. It's a cool passing of the torch given the Dawn Trail moment that is approaching, plus the conversation we had there at the last stand with Orianje, Thancred, and Yastola. Yeah. 
we have transcended. Yeah. Right? Right. Why? What you got to say, Sid? It's been a while. Everybody, we're just gonna see. I'm gonna click on Nero, and I'm gonna make no, a I'm judgment. Here. I'm here. I'm, I'm here. here. No, no, no. Oh, okay. All right. The world cannot end now. Not when we've been scratching the surface of the elaborate technological know-how. So run along now and do what is to your vaunted heroes do best. The world shall tremble before my genius soon enough. Assuming you're able to prevent its destruction, that is. Okay. Very well. Very well. All right. Uh, no shade, but uh, not as interested over here. Except for Alpha and Omega. Mm. I mean, the uh, Omega line is kind of sinister. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Miniature Omega, or miniature model of Omega appears to be staring intently at the art. Right? I mean, it's a recreation. How sinister could it possibly be? Based on the Allegan technologies. Yeah. Well, yep. shall, shall we talk to our good friend that we've known forever? Mm-hmm. Eggleaf. The word I say when I stub my toe and I'm trying not to curse around children. <laughs> if you would come this way, I will direct you to the bridge. Upon boarding the Ragnarok, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Obviously. Is recommend? Yep. No. Nope. Obviously. Okay. I'm prepared. Are you prepared? I am recording. Uh, ready to count down? Should probably sync up. Three, two, one, go. Oh, the music's getting down. Look at all the operates. Yeah, it looks like an alligator just threw up. Again. Oh yeah. It's like the Corona Star Destroyer. <laughs> Classic. I hope you have everything, because I can't be bothered turning back. And Kyle wants these these adorable bunnies to die. Not. He's just imagining right them dying. Make Not for dying's sake. We're setting off in just a moment. <laughs> did you look as disturbed as I did? Yes, actually. Ooh, I like the hologram of the ship from up yeah, top. Yeah, that does look nice. Let you know if your trunk's open. Some expert techno babble. It's. Incredible. This is Fortuno. Can you hear me? The preparations for the summonings are complete. In accordance with the 14th phase of the plan, we have moved the Ragnarok to the launch site. We're so proud the of gates him. are open. You may depart when ready. You're far too trusting. So, are we ready? As ready as I'm gonna be, little one. As ready as we'll ever be. Let's get going. Oh, come on. The burnt out star's got more fire in its belly. <sighs> Try it again, with feeling. Oh. Oh. Oh, so come on. My option is be rude or don't be rude. <laughs> okay. All right. <sighs> what kind of <laughs> asshole move is this game? We could flip a coin. Um, I mean, I'd pick top if they didn't give me the option. But that's just... You can't dangle that. Like you wouldn't pick if they didn't give you the option. quick time event. Would you like to be nice to Alpha now? Yeah, would you? Would you like? Would you like to be? Would nice you like to, to be Alpha nice now? to someone else today? Yeah. You want to be a good person today? Smash the A button on the GameCube controller. I mean, technically, whatever we do is canon, so it's not like we were rude to Alpha now by taking it. 
But, yeah, no. Also, him standing up to his dad is the whole reason we got here, so... Even though he's had a lot of victories, I think he still gets this. Oh, yeah, totally. Okay. Um, I, cool. I lean second for sure. Okay, cool. Three, two, one, go. Me? But I... No need to be coy, brother. Do it, and do it well. Do that arm sweep you love so well. Go, Blue Alizé. Do the thing. If you all insist. <clears throat> Onward, unto the distant stars, <laughs> and beyond. <laughs> the, the yes, he did the arm thing. Nice. <laughs> Engage! Engage! <laughs> I'm gonna think about this every time one guy in the comments is like, I wish you took this more seriously. Uh huh. It's very, very excuse me. I'm so sorry, very. Oh, one guy, I'm very serious. It's very serious, mom. So sorry for laughing. Oh, that works a lot better when, when you've got a giant screen showing you the outside. It's less busy. Ooh! Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. Like rock and roller coaster. Oh, I thought they were boosts. Man, when, it really sucked when someone at FanFest ran up to me, to me with a printout of this scene and spoiled it for me. This looks awesome. Thing. Do the boost. Stretch it a little bit and do the boost thing. The jump. Oh, do it. Oh, do it. Stop teasing me. Do it. Ooh. Oh. That, that doesn't seem good. Oh, that, that's that's the, the, that's Mother Crystal Faith right there. Oh, Look at them all. It's the power of all the primals. Yeah. Coming out. <laughs> Don't tell Garrett that one showed up. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh, You're okay, Bismuth. I forgive you, good King Moogle. Hell yeah, Garuda. See that red cape in the back? Ah! That I must carry landwalkers into the sky? I cannot imagine a greater indignity. This was not on my bingo card in the <laughs> Do not yes. talk so. For thy mighty winds exist not only to buffet and batter. Nay, they may serve also to thrust forth with vigor. Such is thy glory. And thus it is an occasion to rejoice. So come, let us revel. Huzzah! So <laughs> and Bismarck's arconic uh, line. <laughs> so long as the wind blows freely, I suppose all is as it should be in creation. I will render unto them a storm that they may pierce the firmament and fly free. Oh, oh, they're gonna absorb the engines. Oh, you might give it to me. Do it, do it. We all want it. I can also see it being like a transformation. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's okay too. I'm so into this.
I love this music. Good. Sleeping way? Report. <laughs> All's well. Fantastic, even. Thanks to the power of those primals, the engines are roaring and we're ripping along. All values are also <laughs> within protected ranges. Time to destination is eight carats. <laughs> Perhaps seven at a pinch. <laughs> Bless you, by the way. Thank you. Our destination, as you know, is Ultima Thule. Lest you wonder, the place is not a star so much as a patch of emptiness. That's the extent of what our equipment could determine, anyway. From what we know of Meteon, she's likely used Dynamis to obfuscate her location. So, in conclusion, we'll only know what's there when we get there. The crew and I will see to it the ship's ready to take off at a moment's notice. We'll support the search as best we can, but it'll be your paws on the ground, assuming there is any. Now would be a good time but for everything to will be fine, and white, I'm sure. Heidelin believes in you. So you ought to believe in yourselves. Just don't do anything I wouldn't. <laughs> like waiting too long to use those portable teleporters of yours. Personally, at the slightest sign of trouble, I'd mash the button to bits. And you should as well. Understood. We promise to be careful. I suggest you brace yourselves. We're about to arrive and the vessel will shake a good bit. Hmm. What is this? Something is oh, interfering with the equipment. Greetings. Yeah, there it is. Oh, oh damn, she's, she's on board. Me. Oh, that was a oh, yes. Greetings. Can you hear me? Mm. Oh, get the airlock ready. <laughs> <laughs> you address her by name or do you say the cooler line? Wait, what? Do you address her by name or do you say the cooler line? I don't think that's a cult. That's like a do dachshund. dachshund. It's, it's, it's her. I'm, hey, that's her. Because no one has seen her, you know? The bringer of despair, It's though. cool, but no one in the room knows that. So it's a very like, oh. So I don't see it as cool. I see that as a, I think I think that's how you would say it. Yeah, that's how I'd say it. But I'm doing top. Okay. Because I want to have a one-on-one -on -one connection here. All right. Three, two, one, go. It's like Meteon. So this is Meteon. Oh. Have you met one of my sisters? Oh. I don't remember meeting you myself, but I do know that you're from Atheris. Great line deliveries. Why have you come? All you had to do was wait. I would have delivered to you your ends. We didn't ask for that. I don't understand. All life is destined to end. Why choose to prolong your suffering? Effort, ambition, love, they amount to naught. Happiness, should you find it, is inevitably lost. 
stolen away by events beyond your control. There is no logic nor meaning in it. You think there is. Convince yourselves. But it's all a cruel accident. Come now. I speak the truth. A truth you would recognize if you looked up at the night sky. Unbroken emptiness. Cold, dark, and silent. Your world, like every other, is but a blemish upon its perfect fabric. Life is an anomaly. It is unnatural and cannot continue. The sooner you accept this, the easier it will be. Just to be clear, we're not here to argue with you. Oh, hell yeah, you stole her. We know that life is fleeting, and that in the short time we have it, we're not assured happiness. Indeed. I've seen far more sorrow in the eyes of many I've met. I myself have plenty of regrets. And one day they'll die with me, gone to dust with my good deeds and unfulfilled dreams. But we accept this. That our existence may seem pointless. That sorrow, rage and despair will always dog our heels. And we press on regardless. That is why Heidelin guided us here. In her boundless love for mankind, she has prepared us for this trial. And in her name, we have come for you. Yes, I sense it. A burning passion like unto fury. I know it well. For the same passion once burned in many a star before yours. Suffocated and extinguished now. I was waiting for the static to return. Oh, yeah. I... I can't breathe! You approach the bounds of my ultimate. Where emotions dictate reality. Where resignation and acceptance unite to embrace the end. Where those who yet valiantly cling to life Oh, damn, what a Chad. Thank privilege. Tancred? Was he gone? Meteon has gone as well. Mayhap he awakened first and gave chase. Uh, uh everyone? It appears we are at our destination. What's it look like? This, this is Ultima Thule. Not that we knew what to expect. But I wasn't expecting this. From atmospheric composition to ambient temperatures, all readings are within permissible range. This place is capable of supporting life. If that's the case, then 
pyramid may well have gone on ahead. Let's go and have a look. Meanwhile, I want the rest of you to perform a full inspection of the ship, as well as a biological scan. So it was that the brave wayfarers arrived at last at Dream's End. Is it Hillslow? Sound like it. Oh, In nice. following their path walked and history written, I am made keenly aware of one truth. Though the curtains may fall again and again, so long as others take the stage, ever shall there be more tales to tell. Holy of course, that's your dude. Shit, that looks. Oh cool. yeah, look at so, that. Let them bring it to a close, I say. Let the curtains fall upon this, the final chapter in the tale of the star. <laughs> oh my God, they're doing like a morality play. That's cute. Is this a dead star? I live and breathe. I live and breathe. <laughs> well, the environment itself shouldn't kill us. <laughs> That's a great line. Well then, let us search for Thancred while exploring the area. The ship we leave in your care. The ambient music is great. Sounds like stuff I listen to at night with my retro wave lights on. Jeez, this looks good. All right. How ridiculous is it that of all the reasons someone could persevere versus Medion, it's Thancred's swimming ability. Oh, because he bragged about Al how long he can hold Alizé his breath. Alizé says, I can't breathe. Everybody goes down, but Thancred's still freaking swimming. <laughs> it's set up and pay off. Using it all. Set up and Got pay it. Off. Nailed it. Oh, this zone looks freaking great. Is he emotionally, like, resist? No. He swims real good. Big is, oh, this zone. This is a big zone. Where did they even hide it? Oh, it's Sea of Stars. Oh, okay. Sea of Stars. So, yeah, if you back up enough. So, you go to Sea of Stars, stars and then, and yeah. It's, oh, yeah, it's just shared with yeah. Lamentorum. That, that's smart. So, they hid it on the moon map. That's cute. There are dragons Dude, walking around. Dude, look at the ship here. Mm -hmm. It's like inverted colors, so it's like all dark and shit. Oh, cool. I like the space leg tethers it has going on, too. Yeah. I guess, I guess, it, yeah, it's like a holographic landing, uh, landing gear. I'm just walking the edge real fast because it appears there be dragons. That would be dope. Yeah. I see a butt. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, those, it's like those yeah. big, those thick lizard dudes. Yeah. Lesser stellar dragon, yeah, it's dragons. Ooh, even the weather's all uh, retro wave. What's it? Astromagnetic storm. Oh yeah, lesser stellar. Look at that. I want to look over the edge. I'm gonna find an edge. I might aggro this dragon. Edge lord. Oh my god, Kyle. <laughs> you had two options. I'm glad you went with that one. <laughs> Me too. I restrained oh, myself. Oh yeah, it's pretty over the edge. I see you down there hiding. Oh, yeah. Dude, holy shit. That looks dope. I'm going around the front to get a nice shot of the, the ship from the mast. That is a skybox, man. Oh, this does not disappoint. I'm going to turn this up. I might get a little bleed over because I'm using speakers, but... It's just like hyper ambient, man. 
But not in a soothing way like the moon was. With the planet above you. Have you seen this, like, blown out one that's behind the mountain? Oh, where are you at? You come to the front of the ship. You get kind of a shot of this thing. I guess I could mount up and make this faster. Where are you at? Oh, hey, Jesse. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, good hello. to see you. Get your flaming pits over here. I know you're interested in... Uh, so what are we looking at? The behind the mountain here, the sort of blown out planet that has the connective tissue. Blo oh, shit. Oh, it. shit. Oh, that was little cool. to your right. To my right? There you uh, go. Not, it's not this I, thing right in front of me? No, no, no. Like, where the where the tracker bar is right now, and now it's behind your face. That thing. Look at that. Oh, Look oh. That thing. Oh, that's Super Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that looks cool. That is super cool. Oh, and then we have geometric shapes up above. Geometric shapes? So I am facing northeast. Northeast. Yeah, right there. All the squares. Oh, yeah, we do. yeah. Looks like a place you might go fight a boss. Yeah, just saying. Oh, man, things are tilted towards you. Oh, holy shit, I can't wait to explore this. Yeah, that's a cool place. Right, where, are we, where are we going, chairman? All right. Follow me, flamey pits. Oh, my God. Let's go. Oh, yeah, there's a straight-up blown-up one out there, too. Yeah, this looks great. Confused about Thancred. Yeah, the place feels wrong. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Picking up on that. You ready to living way? I am ready. Or are you ready to exit the labyrinthos? I mean, we could we could just call it, you know, Kyle. I think I think we've seen enough, right? We don't want to overdo it. The what? Huh? We can ex exit to labyrinthos. Oh. <laughs> is right behind. Is right behind living way. Yep. Everybody back yeah. on. Yeah, I mean, just chat, you've seen it off, right? You've oh, there's a, a mending node, too, in case, you know, you accidentally You know, I don't think I mended after our extreme night. I should probably do that. Uh, repair gear. You know, in case you need to... Oh, actually, it's not that bad. But okay. Should have done damage on the ship to your stuff. <laughs> uh, all right, Living Way says... I can't guarantee it will be of help in these strange surrounds, but I've readied a provisions node in case of emergency. Of course, if you encounter any real danger here, I expect you to return to the Ragnarok at once. Oh, oh, oh he's in uh We got some text generation. What? The quest name. Oh, the weird text. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, strain. Well, yeah, you still can still read it, though. You can still read it. Medions unleash the wingdings. <laughs> webdings? The webdings. The web, the webdings? Is that is that actually what you call it? I, I always call it the webdings. Oh, I thought it was wingdings. Is it wingdings? Yeah, I think it's both are correct. Or maybe. maybe. They're probably two different... Two different ones? Yeah, two different fonts. Yeah. And why are you giving me purple dye? I don't know. Seems like an odd crest reward alpha now. I mean, but I, I haven't. And Denny, I'm just checking a thing real quick, Kyle. Yeah, I'm no, just, of course. Of I'm course. just gut checking some stuff. We, we got we got extra stuff, you know? Yeah. It's all kinds of stuff going yeah. on here. Yeah, exactly. Wingdings. Yeah, she's a bird. Exactly. Yeah, no, nice job. Yeah, well exactly. done. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, cool. Tail. All right. I'm getting in there. Alright. Oh, he is giving purple dye. Why? I don't know. Okay. To match the surroundings. It's just feeling purple. Uh, Colin, if you're still watching, please excuse my alpha man. <laughs> I didn't think about that. We're fortunate this place can support life, albeit barely, I suspect, given the torpid, stale quality of the air. But never mind that. We must find Thancred. 
Let's begin our search from the prow of the ship. It seems as good as direction as any. Try not to stray too far, lest we lose sight of one another. Do I have a mouth that, like, fits in better? Something astral? Yeah, or just kind of, like, purpley. I don't think I do. Um... You know, an argument could be made for Pink Rhino, you know, <laughs> given the surroundings, but no, I don't think I, I really... Speak its name. I really don't think I do. I'm gonna... I think I'll just stick... I'll just stick with my, uh... Stick with the only extreme mount I've won so far. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. It's, a, it's a real shame if you wanted a purple mount. You couldn't... Mount your purple eagle for this. I can I I can deny you internet. I, I can unplug <laughs> that computer. I have control. I know where all the wires are. Then I'll go home and keep playing. Ooh, stone Boy, dragon. There's like a gate over here. Gonna like a graveyard vibe. Yeah. These guys. Oh, they're. Oh, they are stout. That's why you're tall. But that one is not. Wait, why? What's with this guy? Yeah, made a stout. Yeah. Huh. Maybe he succumbed to despair. Got yeah. rocked. Huh. Oh, there's a bunch. Oh, oh, oh. All right. I assume it's safe to. Let's talk to Alphano, but yeah. Everyone's spread out. Sure about that? Don't ruin this, Alphano. Are, are you sure about that? Ruins, but of what, I wonder? Perhaps we can find something to help us understand the nature of this place. A relic, an inscription, anything. All right. So we, uh, we check out some structures. Wait, what was going on? Oh, gotta... what? Whoa, oh, hello. hello. What? Are you okay? There was a stellar dragon behind that I'm rock. coming, buddy. He died with red. He did die with. I think that was an attack. And he gave off. dynamis crystals. I think that was the attack. Going off. I see no one else in this barren wasteland, do you? Then why do I feel like we're not alone? Like there's another presence with us. Something dark and mournful. Yoda. Mournful. Hmm. That is the juice of dead aliens. Yeah, like it looks like someone lived here. Look here. This part is relatively intact. The intricate design of the top suggests it is man-made, though its builders were surely not men as we conceive of them. Having said that, I swear I have seen this pattern before. Hmm. Vitrified fort. It's totally good, so. There's a structure here in front of me, yes. <laughs> a tower of some sort. Partially melted? Hmm. Yeah, it does look gooey. In a strange twist of fate, it seems, our perception of this place is not so different as it would be elsewhere. The world as I used to see it, I feel as though I'm dreaming while awake. This is more than a faded memory medium led us to believe. Interesting. We got a molten structure, which is melted over here to hmm. destinate on. Or, I'm sorry, we're ministering. Yes, yeah, indeed. Yeah, we're applying the sand oil. The metallic pillar has been personally melted, likely sometime in the distant past. The damage does not appear to have been inflicted deliberately. Rather, it calls to mind the indiscriminate destruction often wrought in the heat of battle. Oh, yeah, dragons, right? So we're seeing melted dragon yeah. buildings. And then we've got, ooh, ooh nice. Nice little That's adjusted really asset. About this. These remains have long since turned to ash, and yet they retain their form. That they do. Hmm. Hey, Andre, that dragon over there will attack you just over Looks like we've got to go yeah, beyond. We've got a little bit of a run ahead of us. Up on this hill? Oh, it's Stinium. He's the Azure Dragoon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. You're welcome. Anytime, buddy. Grace us with your Astinian today. Oh, pardon me. This I, was, day. I was just enjoying the sight. I thought this I hill. thought this hill might afford a better view of the surroundings. A poor decision in hindsight. 
Besides the light from the ship, all is shrouded in darkness. Thancred is here. I'd never know it. From what I can tell, we are near the edge of an island. If you can call it that. Surrounded by floating debris. <laughs> Thank you for pronouncing it that way. You're welcome. Back down the hill we go, or are you taking in the I'm just, I'm just taking in the retro wave, vapor wave sights here. Yeah, it is purdy. That is purdy indeed. A click. As, as a fan of Outland and World of Warcraft and someone who would love to see a more modern rendition of that, I am loving this. Yeah. Oh, look at the little space facility. I like how they too. went much more astral photography with the with the skybox. What does that mean? You ever oh. seen actual, like, yeah. with really good lenses where you see... That's not terminology. You literally mean... Yes, like literal astral photography. The Hubble telescope and yeah. such. Yeah. Oh, oh no! I like that they did this properly dangerous. Yeah. And they blend in with the ones that are not, you know, alive. All right. Alphino says... Oh, it's a cutscene. I'm going to disable text auto advance. Were you able to find anything? As I feared... And still no trace of Thancred. They have a great, like, suppressive sound in the background going. Without being whispers. I'm gonna pull that up. Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, Red Alpha now? There's nothing but emptiness as far as the eye can see, which unfortunately isn't very far. all around. Though I can't help but suspect that someone or something is here. There are times when I sense it drawing close and a chill washes over me, leaving me exhausted. Leaving me with feelings of death and anguish. I'm gonna finally address the dragon in the room. Yeah, bottom. Yeah, I'm going bottom. What are you talking about? There's nothing there. Ooh. What? Ooh, I love that. Before we jump to any conclusions, perhaps we should search elsewhere. So when we got attacked by it, they just saw us fighting nothing? Agreed. We've found only more questions when we are in desperate need of answers. There's a fair stretch of terrain from the ship port side we've yet to explore. Let us try searching there, then. Yoda jumps out and eats a hot dog. I always thought it was a Snickers. <laughs> Val, Tuna, a word before we join the others. Hmm. Can you see them too, Astin? That's a bit of a walk, Astinian. Oh, Jesus. I mean, he is infused with dragons. Run! Eyes. Maybe he can't. Go run for it! Maybe he can see dead dragons. Ah, uh, chaos breath. I didn't know you had the title of the Boundless Dark. What? Why would I use anything else? Didn't know. What's your title? What do you think of it? Dungeon Master. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, saw that coming. <laughs> saw that coming a mile away. So yeah, they just saw us uh, Tyler Durdening in the corner. Yeah. But I mean, I'm just wondering now, like, you know, he's got dragon eyes. Does that mean he can see the stuff? Dragon eyes. You see them too, don't you? The dragons. Oh, interesting. 
As I thought, the presence is tenuous at best, but there's no mistaking it. No doubt your bond with Midgard Sorma and mine with Nidhogg is what allows us to perceive them. Could these apparitions be related to the dragons that now live on Aetherus? Excuse me, I'm starting to go a little... <laughs> uh, what's his name from the Continental? It's getting a little Continental. Uh, oh, oh, you are, oh, you are getting a yeah, bit. Yeah. You are getting a bit. Um, Isaacs? What's his name? No, shoot. I always forget it. I, uh, Ian McShane. I'm, I'm going a little Ian McShaney on it. Yo, Jonathan, my boy. Excuse me. I need to go more Batman. Will these apparitions be related to the dragons that now live on Aetherus? Bah. Better to leave such conjecture to others. In any case, we must be careful. We may soon find dragons that can see as well. Hmm. Death. Anguish. What happened to them, I wonder. I didn't know we were getting an Estinian theory crafting stream. Hey, you know what? Little bond, little moment. And now you're just rubbing it on that bird. Look at that black hole up there. That looks sweet. This whole zone looks sweet, man. I understand everyone who was like, you haven't gotten to my favorite zone Ooh. yet. This is a good zone to claim as your favorite zone. Hey, that <laughs> looks like an etherite. That sure does. Oh, that's interesting. Ooh. Oh, what the butt? Yeah. Shit's getting weird, man. Hmm. Just now. Just, yeah, just now. now. This is the moment. Weird. This is the moment shit gets weird. Oh, we can see these ghosts, though. Hmm. My sight has been restored after a fashion, but I can't be trusted as Mio and herself etched these images upon my heart. I doubt not that such a feat is within her power, given the construct of her sanctuary. Surely mine eyes deceive me. This cannot be possible. Dragons. It is true they are not of this world, but to find them in a prison of despair. Batman? It seems these dragons have yet to succumb completely to the darkness of this place. I mean, the others should be able to see them as well. Okay. What do we have out here? Oh, that's that's a that's a mount. Yeah, that's that mount thing. It might be a creature here though. Sync up. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. What you see is a memory of a world that once was. A world suffering a slow death. Whose denizens cried out for the release of oblivion. What? Their world is dead? It is. Not a single life remains upon that husk floating in the vast emptiness. These creatures are shadow and shade, perpetuated only to suffuse Dynamis with their unending lamentations. Our friend Sancred. Where is he? A strange question. He is at your side, is he not? Oh, yes. He is here and there and everywhere within this space. He would tell you himself if he had form to form words. Huh. Such loathing and uncertainty. You don't know why you still exist. Oh my god. In like manner to the oblivion I send. I tried to drown out your ether with dynamis. Beginning with this Thancred, who came at me despite being unable to breathe. 
Such a simple thing. Unmaking men. Oh, fuck. In the blinking of an eye, he was gone. Didn't even have the chance to be transformed. Yet somehow, he managed to leave a slither of himself behind. What you call... the heart? Or perhaps the soul? In his final moment, he... cried out from it. A single word. Survive. <gasps> That wish proved stronger than the despair that ruled here. It overpowered it, causing this space to be remade. Into a place you can perceive, and where life can endure. That you draw breath is proof that his soul lives on. For how long, however, remains to be seen. Well then, we should hurry and tend to business. <laughs> Such a blunt instrument. It's futile. You will never reach the true me. I told you, emotions dictate reality in this space. Such changes as you might work will not alter in its nature. You may see, but you cannot touch. Walk, but not advance. <laughs> Meteon holds too much sway here. How do we contend with a foe who can unmake us on a whim? I do not know. But Thancred gave his life that we might come this far. We must press on. Agreed. We cannot turn tail here. Not without something to show for our comrade's sacrifice. Hmm. Interesting. Villains like this piss me off so fast. Nothing would make me more angry than being than someone saying something frustrating and being like, oh, how are you angry? Oh my god, like it's a good villain type, but mm. I'm just like, oh my god. I'm I'm properly vibing with Medion. Oh I did not see losing scions coming. Taught me no more, spirit. But it makes sense. But now I think we're going to start losing people one by one because they made such a big deal of heading into the last trial with all of the Scions in tow. So it would be very cool to flip that on its head and start removing them from the party. Yeah. I mean, we could just have kind of a like a Eden situation where each scion sacrifice makes the place more habitable and opens the gate to That's get exactly to... what I'm thinking, because yeah. I will say it, it seems odd that Medion doesn't seem perplexed by that, but because of what Thanker did, that... Because immediately following that, Medion's like, you're not going to be able to advance. It's like, well, we're advancing now because of what Thanker did. Yeah. Why can't we advance more because of the actions of others? So we have each each person kind of open the gateway there, and in that case, the, the final trial could be just summoning back the scions again and their spirits. That minds. could be the payoff for the the power that we, the, the Asm crystal was infused with from Hydaelyn. Instead of bringing back the the dead that we thought we were bringing back, yeah. which are long dead characters, maybe recently dead characters. Maybe we get to pull a sure. Maybe we get to pull an Emmet and actually yank them back from the life stream. That'd be cool. Although Thanker dying because of like the manifestation of Dynamis. This, uh, I don't know exactly how that functions, but it sure seems like the foreshadowing with the Crystal of Asm that we're heading towards some sort of bringing, bringing buddies back in some fashion. Yeah, I mean, he could also just not be dead, just invisible and in like a Shadow Realm kind of situation, and her telling us he's dead plays in the... Yeah. Her wants for us to despair and yeah. unleash Dynamis. Yeah. 
Um, I saw some smiles, so I averted my gaze from, from the chat. So mods, mods don't work too hard. Uh, chat, I hope you're all having fun. We, we do our best to try and, uh, try and be uh, interactive during MSQ streams, but also we just, we just want to enjoy the game. Yeah, we cook freely with we each just other. Wanna, we, just want to, uh, we just want to enjoy the game. Oh. Oh. When uh, I'm, I'm seeing some folks uh, ruffled about behavior in chat, is it just is it just spoilers? Is that why we're is it is it, is it garden variety spoilers, or do we need to pull the stream over for a moment? Because we can pull the stream <laughs> over for a moment. Uh, mods, I'm looking at mod chat right now. Do you think we uh, it's like what's what's up? A status report, please. You must write 100 times. I will not type spoilers. Status report and deliver it to us in the morning. No, it's fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Seems like Garden Variety, Spoiler Ridge. Sure. Uh, and some people that are annoyed about the followers. Okay, well, all right, listen. I'm going to say this once, and then we're going to move I, on with our lives. I'm going to address it. I'm going to address it. Uh, this, this is... This happens playing an online game publicly. There's only so much you can do about it. I will also say, like, people are doing... Look how much space. You all are doing phenomenal. I yeah. really appreciate I, I how much space I have no one on my screen at the moment. Yeah. So, you know, if I look around and there's some people here... Yeah, so there's some people back there. It's an online game. This is kind of what happens when you play a game publicly. Like, honest... Uh, I, I'd like to be alone, but I also really appreciate what everybody is going through and giving us some space right now. Oh, so. I get emotional. I was thinking, like... That's not a request I can make, like, for the end, like, to be going to the edge of space and get a look. Like, you guys are giving us so much. But I really appreciate what y'all are doing tonight. Massively. Yeah. yeah. The point I, I was getting to that. more was uh, um, don't don't just continue to complain in chat because uh, there's only so much we can all do about it. Oh, sure. Um, so, you know, if you're here, have fun. Yeah. Have Good fun. vibes. Yeah. Have fun. I don't. I'm not interested what happened with other streams. I'm not interested what happened with other streamers. The journey we're on right now is our journey, and it will proceed as it proceeds. So, have a good time. Or get sniped. <laughs> That's your op. Those are your options. Those are your options. The way is picked before you. Choose one. We cannot choose... Uh, Option one. We, we have no control over people showing up in the zone, but we do have control over folks uh, making a fuss in our chat. So... Have a good time. Please enjoy. All right. Oriange. Do we have new? Did any of the... I'm sure you were optional dialoguing here. I did, yeah. I did a little bit of a, oh, a poke around. Oh, getting into it. I was mostly distracted by how ballish the W is on the quest name, so I didn't get a lot done. I'm having a lot of thoughts here, because clearly I know there's more game after this. So the thought of losing characters, these characters, was not on my mind. So mm. this is surprising. It is also a trope in fiction that I have said multiple times I do not like. Sacrifice to be reborn, a la Sacrifice Moon? when I'm pretty sure you're coming back. Uh, I've talked about how Infinity War did very little for me at the end. The ending of Infinity War did very little for me because I'm like, they're coming back. But it is a trope that I don't write off completely because it's what you do with their absence in that period that kind of makes or breaks the decision to employ the trope. No, and I've, and I've been talking to them for a long time about how Sailor Moon does this. It's just a trope that happens. You've, you've been on the, tr the Sailor Moon train since... The moon? Yeah, well, it's the moon, right? Well, the same, yeah, same, I, guess, moon, you know? I guess I guess that but makes sense. If, if, as long as the sacrifice is meaningful in the moment, you can come back because your resolve was strong enough to make you heroically choose that end for yourself, and that's why you deserve to come back. It's when. And, and Thanker's moment's awesome. So whether he comes back or not, yeah. or he's back as a clone, I don't know how this all works out, but that moment rules. It'd be different if Resingway flies out of the ship and is like, <laughs> oh, 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 everybody, you did such a good job, and, and spreads their magic. Actually, and actually, you could you could have those those um, those chambers that the Lopperts come out of, 
you go back to the ship and the Lapras are like, look, we have clones of we all your clone buddies. them, yep. Look yep. at them all in a row. It's not over. I don't think that's what they're going to do because it probably wouldn't be the coolest way to go about this. But No, um, and it'd also be kind of disturbing to go forward with we, the people you knew weren't the real people. We got that crystal, man. Yeah. I'm like, it's, 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 it's Chekhov's Asm's crystal. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of extreme. Those are my thoughts right now. It's not an unplanned game. Like, Graha going down first. That was a choice in the suffocation. So he's the eldest. Like, really. Like, he, he's talked before about he's kind of exhausted. He's been through a lot. These aren't hollow choices they're making. I love setup and payoff. And so, Thancred being the one, even if it's from... Even if it's a callback to something that was kind of said in jest and played for comedy, which was his bragging of his ability to hold his breath. I, I love setup yeah, and payoff. Absolutely. The story of me enjoying the story is how good its setup is and all of the payoff that follows. Huh. Yeah, they're all kind of just res- uh, pressing F for thank or respect right now. Yeah, the Sidians taking the next step to say, how are we even going to yeah. get this far? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, thank you. Hell yeah. Oh, no, I see an F in the chat. Is, is, is stream actually okay, or are we effing for Thancred? I'm just double checking. <laughs> see F's in the chat, I panic. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, it's F for that. Thank you. Thank you for adding for Thancred to your Fs. All right, wonderful. Fs in chat for Thancred. Are you ready, Uri? I am. Unburdened wings. We're still doing this weird um, characters. Rianji cannot accept that his comrade is gone. Oh, that makes sense because they're they're the they're buddies. Okay. Yep, I'm with you. Soul without body, a form of being with which we are not wholly unfamiliar. Indeed, for we existed in a similar state when residing in the first. The circumstances are rather more dire than that. It is true. But I choose to believe he is not forever lost to us. Regardless, in sacrifice he hath afforded us a chance to prevail. Let us not squander it, and ascertain the nature of this realm that we might confront and defeat Meteon. Estinian, Val, Tuna, would you accompany me in speaking with these dragons? Mayhap they can enlighten us. I would ask the rest of you to survey these surrounds. If there is a path that may lead us to our quarry, we must find it. Very well. We can reconvene here when everyone has finished. Meteon said these dragons are shadow and shade, from a world whose denizens sought oblivion. As such, they are not like to be amenable to company, let alone conversation. So please, be careful. Let us split up and gather what knowledge we may. I don't like Orianje leading this because it kind of makes it feel like he's next in line. Well, I mean, heroism. Man of action when his buddy's gone, right? Yeah. I'm checking out the crystal. Oh yeah, can we attune? With the nasty water. Oh, dude, this is gross. Yeah. You can attune. Nice. Alright, we got three choices. Which way are you going? Uh, Streamer view man. Foul hello. Oh, oh wait, oh, we, we can talkable. talk to ones that aren't even Hello! Aren't even part of the quest. Thou art huh. unlike others. This place so befits thee. Do not tarry over long. Who are you? Telling my tale alters not the course. Thou knowest my brethren once ruled these skies. Will our kingdom return? Should I boast that I was the first among our hunters? Will their comrades I failed live again? Nay, hey, once I lived, and now I wait the coming oblivion, nothing more. What is this place? This, this is not our home. This is our home that they come to m- the metal demons. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, who from life and joy scoured it clean. There are mere bones, and amongst them do rest our wings forevermore. 
Leave us now to our morning travel. Thou wilt find no solace here. I don't know, talk to Say over here. A visitor, not of the star. Could thy slender hands bring plague to our world? Thy breathe extinguish life's feeble flame. Oh, how we would adore thee. With time our flesh shall wither, our souls fade, and so we wait for its inexorable march unto oblivion. If thou art not come to hasten our demise, I bid thee leave us. We crave not companionship, only silence. Oh damn! There, there are many there are dragons. So many dragons. Home. They're pretty models. Beyond that distant veil, paradise lost. So glorious, so beautiful. We were a proud and noble race, strength embodied. We knew only love before they came. Metal monstrosities of black and silver. No bonds of blood did they share, no conviction did they have to guide them. A crushing defeat. Never had we known such shame. Still now are the winds. Though none could fill these wings, burdened by ignominy. I've always struggled with that word. <laughs> we fly no more, only sink into oblivion. Alright. So they had they fought some kind of metal enemies and lost. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Who do we know? Yeah. They like to build things out of metal and had beef with dragons. No, I, I can't think of any sort of constant noting they've been doing over the course of today's <laughs> journey to a metal being of any kind. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's confusing. I just can't speak. I, I yeah. can't think of any it's enemies. Weird. <sighs> How weird they make up shit this close to the end. Yeah, yeah. Are, are you just dead? Mm. Oh, no, you're alive. The yeah, just Al again and again and again, Kyle. I I think I, I'm trying to think of who they could be referring to. Yeah, the beginning and the end. Some say. Yeah. Obviously, Transformers. Yeah. Yeah, that's Adam. it. That's Adam, it. The big tie-in. They're clearly talking about the. We're Morpher going Cybertron. Fortnite, baby. Please, please don't. I mean, they do go Fortnite, but they go Fortnite with, in their own with Final property. Fantasy yeah, crossovers. In their own property. Yeah. Anyway. Thou wouldst bid me speak, hmm, folly. I observe the lessons of stone. I shall not fly nor speak nor roar. Only watch and wait and end. But one sight yet stirreth my blood. Tempereth, tempteth me to raise my voice in lamentation. Am no, the cradle of unsung dragons. No words, no songs are possessed of a weight to describe such tra tragedy. Go, if that be thy will, I shall remain. The nest circles are a nice uh, dystopian touch. The what circle? The circles of stones, like a nest. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. This whole zone, I am just, I am, I do not mean this as a joke, over the moon. I am over the moon with these with this freaking zone. Nice. I don't know why I'm following you other than I'm I'm actually down to get lost because I want to see. Yeah, I was just kinda checking around the corner. We've got some burn marks here. A little bit of lava. It's real bright Search down below. For the source of dragon's woes. Okay, so yeah, we need to press on. We got it. Oh, nope. It's a spinny turtle. Don't go over there. There's a spinny turtle. Oh, there yeah. is a spinny turtle. If you touch him, you have to run uh, hard mode dungeon. 
Stone hey. Vigil hard. Uh -huh. I, I need a I need a blue mage. Can well, I it's, like, a, it's like Final can I Fantasy, mage, you know. You you're just you're sucked into the dungeon. You got to run the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Stick your face in it. Oh, gee. Well, I mean, we know they're Dragon Age. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's like dead babies. I don't like that. What are they? There's a dead dragon. Oh, baby. wow. Yeah, yeah. They, they straight up put little babies in yeah. there, didn't they? That's, that's, yeah, yeah. That's tragic. Oh, so much for eluding. <sighs> All right, Estinian, hit me. They led you here as well, did they? It was described to me as the source of their woes and proof of their end. I think I'm beginning to see why. The hatching ground, or was. I've seen similar on a theorist. May God Soma's kind must have once lived and thrived in a place such as this. Beecher said his father was driven from their ancestral home by war and strife. This, then, is the fate of those who remained. Let's have a look around. Maybe these eggs have more to tell of what happened here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna fully inspect. All right. Interacting. Inside the shattered egg, you find the remains of an unborn dragon. The body has already begun to decompose. The gelatinous half-dried membrane covering the corpse suggests it failed to emerge. I helped deliver a puppy once, and I had to I had to open the, the amniotic sac. Oh my goodness! Yeah, because they, they say you're supposed to give it, I think, like a thirty-second count, and if the mother doesn't help, sure, you're supposed to get in there. That's got to be a top three most intense moment of my life. I bet. Yeah. The murky liquid is pooled inside this eggshell. The noxious photor is indicative of contamination. Okay. Mm. Where are you going? Do you have different eggs? Oh, I accidentally clicked the one you're oh, on right okay. now. Yeah. I was like, that'd be kind of cool if they randomized it. Gingerly lifting a large egg from the viscous mire, you peer inside and see a, fir a formless mass soaking in a pool of embryonic fluid. Your stomach turns as you return the egg to its resting place. Oh. Ah, I see. I see where you were going. This egg appears to have been broken from the inside out. Perhaps the dragon net then succeeded in hatching. What's this? I thought the eggs had been ruined. That dragon net was indeed hatched. There is no sign of it here. Or its sire, for that matter. We should look for them. You start with the cliff tops, I'll search the plains. I am happy we get some buddy adventures with Stinian here. Yeah. Well, it makes all the sense in the world since we're dealing with dragons. Yeah. Oh, and I he joined the oh, party. I can't jump. Oh, yeah. There. There's a little. They little want pit me there. to get closer to that dragon that wants to eat me. Just waiting to see what happens with it, but bandit, thanks for the super welcoming us to the end. Oh, we got a malformed dragon. Hello. Go woo gurgle. Reeved. Oh, it's cutscene. Disabling auto advance. Yeah, that was very short. The boisterous howling hath been quieted. By thy hand, I presume. Pardon me if you This is catch. why I took the dragon, because I was pretty sure it's Denny was going to show up. Yep. Uh, everything all right? I thought I heard a dragon or something resembling one. Ah, I see what happened here. Was this your child? Perhaps. Some eggs within Omnol are indeed mine. 
if life within one did quicken, the beast thou hast slain may be of my blood. Yet I do not recognize it, twisted and malformed as it is. Not a dragon in truth, but a reminder of our failure, a testament to our shame. Explain. They descended from the heavens, cold, heartless machines, and with them rode war and death. With fire and fury, rage and rancor, we gave answer. It was a long and bloody battle, but only the beginning. Untold chaos and destruction swept over the star. In the end, the invaders were victorious. But when they look upon their prize, they deemed it unfit for requisition. We were abandoned to our ruin. The survivors th sought to put away their shame, to rebuild a futile effort. In purest soil replete with ether, did we once cultivate our nesting grounds, but our lands were barren, and any eggs nurtured in such desolation were fated to rot. What few survive to hatch emerge as abominations. We shall have no new progeny. But there are dragons amongst you capable of journeying to other stars. That there are. Many would make the attempt, each bearing a clutch of eggs. The richest stars were home to the harshest rulers, and the arrival of dragons incited contests for supremacy. When the fires faded, the wars lost and won, they too were reduced to ash and waste. It is the curse of those who seek life to be drawn to conflict, to conquer, or be conquered. A vicious cycle we now choose to break. We tire of conflict, of everything. We wait now in sweet, merciful silence, free from strife and suffering, still as stone. Wait. You claim your kind is doomed, but there is another star. We get a little taste of what it was like to be Medeon and hearing the stories of these dead civilizations. Yeah, but how interesting they would show to describe it or portray it through a aggressive source ruining that tranquility. In which case, I mean, like, there are a couple of examples of that in Medeon's report. Yeah. It wasn't all just like succumbing to your own despair. I think there were at least two examples I can think of that were war or warlike. Bummer archaeology. Oh, sorry. B -b -b Bummer <laughs> analogy. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm clicking on a Sinian. Good effects in here, man. Test of will. Uh, the bereaved dragons have fallen silent, leaving a Sinian to sigh with frustration. They want only to brood in silence. To be left alone with their grief until time itself comes to an end. The sole reward for senseless bloodshed. Pain I understand, and I wish that I did not. What fools were we? But now isn't the time for such thoughts. The others will want to hear what we've learned. Come. Would you be willing to hook me up with a car so I might BRB? Oh, I'd be I'd be glad to. That's a bed. Nope, there's a car. Thank you, you are, sir. 
Allow me to... Oh, ah, I selected the dragon. Get in, winner. We're going walking. In a, in a car. There we go. Be right back. Easy idea. Enjoy the bathroom. I shall. Uh, I shall chauffeur Kyle to where we need to go. Oh, it is quite the... Well, I, I guess we could have just ported, but... This zone looks too good. It's too pretty. I'll take it in. Mutant puppy barking starts. <laughs> they're actually, they're being good. They're being good. I was, uh, I was intentionally quiet when he opened the door, and it appears to have been successful. Rolling down the street in my six foot. Uh-oh. I might need to go play Peacekeeper because I hear the pitter-patter of doggy paws. Give me a moment. I knew what I heard. I knew what I heard. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have someone. Oh, oh, my. You <laughs> may want to leave that cracked for a Hello. little bit. Okay. <laughs> Say hi to stream, Zelda. Say hi to stream. It's been a while. You don't come in here as much now that... <laughs> Thank you for the kisses. That Kyle uh, is over, because you, you don't seem to like him very much. We're, we're working on it. We're working on a mutual understanding. Yeah. Working on it. I feel like I love you. Yes, I love you. One bork at a time. I love you so much. Yes. All right. Well, I'm gonna put you back out now. Good. Are you good? Or are you gonna sing us a song of your people? Are you gonna sing us a song of your people? If you do, we'll just say that canonically is what the dragons in mourning sound like. Okay. You wanna give us some some, some sound effects? Love. Yeah. All right, sweet. During our brief interlude here, would you like to share with everyone the drawing and the art channel? Oh, oh yeah. Now go for it. Have ourselves a little snack time, too. You sure you stretch, everybody? Hydrate! Standing up sounds good. It, it feels good, man. It feels good. Oh, Kyle restocked the dad bag. No, it's just a bag of holding. He's got all kinds of stuff in there. Oh. Oh. Oh, I might, I might, uh, I might, at the end of the stream, tell Katie to get dressed for going out. I just... I just I could go for like a ramen joint or something. Sure. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds posture check, everybody. That's also important. That is also very important. Do a little Remember we, What time are we starting on Thursday? 5 p.m. Eastern, yeah, right? 5. 5 p.m. Eastern. Three hours early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're starting three hours early on Thursday because um, we've been told that there's there's a lot, even even not considering uh, gameplay, but there's also there's just a butt ton of cutscenes. So we... Uh, oh, sorry, it's, the blood flow is, is I'm feeling it now. <laughs> um, we're, we're trying to give ourselves as much time as possible, so hopefully we're not streaming until like 3 a.m. Oh, yeah. But if we are, they so be it. it. They do it. But if we are, so be it. Promises have been made. Yes. You might say there are several, several cutscenes. Yeah, mm. yeah Solomir. Mm. I, th I think that might be, I think that might be fair. Uh, yeah. Did you just post that link in the Grinding Gear? I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that, the grinding, that is the official Grinding Gear account. That is a link for Thursday's stream. If you haven't bookmarked it, go give it a follow. So. Go it, give it a follow. Uh, because we had to remake it uh, uh, because there was a duplicate stream key. And when we went live yesterday, it went live on the final Endwalker stream link. And so we had to nuke it and start over. So if you had hit, hit the original posting for notifications, it died. YouTube, YouTube. It's a came it's to good. despair. 
the old links that came to despair. So, yeah, love the textures of Kyle's shirt. That is probably my favorite shirt that Kyle owns. Oh, thank you. Um, I would wear the shit out of that shirt. I like it too. It's very comfy. Yeah. I feel we have we have similar but different style. Um, it's very rare. I, I like your clothes, but it's rare I want them. I, yeah. I kind of want that shirt. I'm trying to evolve past the Target plain black shirt. It's hard mm. for me. I like a plain black shirt. I know, me too. I also like a plain white shirt. Yeah. You have to get a nice one. It can't be that undershirt material. No. It's a very big difference. Yeah, no, I, I'm, yeah. Not a big, I'm not yeah. a big fan of that. This is not plain white. It's, it's, it's got a print on it and then a print on the back. But if you desire fan. today's stopping point, you can find it in the description. Yeah, I mean, we can tell them though, right? Isn't it uh, uh, roads, roads paved? Uh, yes, the roads being paved. I believe it's roads paved. So, um, let's take a look at optional dialogue here. Thank you for the ride. Uh, all right, nothing really of note. Orion J is uh, has gained an audience with several dragons. Tola says we would hear what the dragons had to share with you, even if it's no different from what they told Orion J. Graha just wants to know if we converse with any dragons. Why, well, yes, Graha, we did. That's what and we're about. And Alizé is still uh, in bewilderment of the area we're in. All right. You ready, Alpha, now? I am ready. Were you able to establish any meaningful contact with the dragons? Why, yes. Yes, we were. I wish I could see you in my cutscenes. I see. They wish to escape what they perceive to be a cycle of conflict. Thank you, Val, Tuna, Astinian. As for our part, I believe we are more acutely aware of our confines than before. We started by traversing the perimeter of the island to see if there might be a path leading off of it. Sadly, there was nothing to be found. There's no small amount of debris floating about. Could there be enough to serve as a bridge to lead us elsewhere? I considered that, and so I tried throwing a stone onto a potential platform to judge its integrity, but it never reached its mark. As it crossed an invisible threshold just beyond the boundaries of this island, it vanished, only to reappear above me and fall at my feet. I would not be too quick to presume that what we see outside this space is as it appears. Which is why I returned to the Ragnarok and asked the Loperates to search for a potential path. However, the ship's instruments failed to provide conclusive data on the surrounding area. Until we know more, I think it's too risky to attempt to fly to another island. What Meteon told us before, that emotions dictate reality here, might be the key. But I'm not entirely sure what emotion might manifest a bridge to lead us to safety. So what you're saying is, we have no way forward. At present, I, if it is indeed emotion that governs this island, perhaps it is not mediums, but the dragons that hold us here. They tire of conflict and have chosen a path to ob oblivion to escape it. Or rather, they have chosen no path at all meaning that there is no way for the dragons or anyone here on this island to advance. A sound theory, disheartening, disheartening though it may be. If that is the case, what recourse do we have? They are not like to be, they are not like to be persuaded to help us. The reasoning is built on a history of turmoil and strife Without irrefutable proof, the future is not as bleak as they believe it to be. Mayhaps persuasion is not the answer. Medion meant to unmake us then and there on the Ragnarok, and she would have succeeded if not for Thancred's determination. 
She conceded it was strong enough to overpower the despair that otherwise rules Ultima Thule and reshape it to a degree. Perhaps it can be done again in a like manner, by overcoming our prevailing emotions. I believe that is overpowering. Which is interesting. Twas Ultima Thule's architect, Meteon herself, against whom Thancred did pit himself in a clash of wills. Although I marked no leader among them as such, I did chance to encounter a dragon possessed of despair far more potent than most, potent enough, mayhap, to dictate the course for others, and thus their domain to follow. He spoke but a few words, carefully chosen, their tone and timber alone threatening to rend my heart in twain. Challenging his desire to remain may allow us to alter the island upon which we stand. Alas, I fear my vaunted rhetoric availed me not against his calcifying heart. But mayhap one of you will fare better? Then I shall guide thee, Alend, they call him, in the dragon tongue. Thou wilt find him nearby, eyes fixed upon the water. Well, what have we to lose? Let's get going. Ah, uh, just hope. And we have to still it with hope. We have to start a party around him. What is the meaning of this? Dost thou encourage to dance? Yeah, we know, your eyeshadow is gorgeous. Interesting. Yeah, okay. So, got a little ways to ride. Oh, I, I just thought it was this guy, because the camera looked at this guy. It yeah, did, we, and, we said, do have a ways to go. and said they were peering into the water. I was like, oh, yeah, well, he's looking in the water, that's our man. Dragon, pal, dragon. I do mock me so. Well, then Astinian's gonna pour himself into the laser of this place and give up the ghost. favorite dragon. Oh, you know, old Al. Old Al. He remaineth as he was when I first approached, entombed in melancholy. Are you ready to sync up? I'm ready on your mark. Three, two, one, go. I see. Perhaps I could... I'll handle this. Nice. Oh, the freaking nice. organs. So... Waiting to die like all the others, are you? So you say, yet your kind has found a new beginning on our star. One of you braved the expanse, bearing with him a clutch of eggs. They and their children now rule our skies, their song heard by all. 
Come on, channel the dog. suffered much and repaid their suffering in kind. Had your brethren made the self-same choice, my family might still be alive. Yet lasting peace does not come to those who simply retreat from conflict. No, you must be willing to confront it, to stare into the face of your foe and see yourself in him. Only then, can you break the cycle of torment and tragedy? This lesson, a dear friend taught me at the risk of his life. There is no nobility in your penance. You wallow in self-pity. Hell yeah. This is so dope. And after everything we've endured, we will not let you stop us. Justinian too. There's a wind. He's opened the way for us. Sacrificed himself to remake this place, like Thancred did. <laughs> oh, Alphano. <sighs> Come, let us follow the wind. It will not lead us astray. He would not. characters.
Well, they're on character without being too on the nose, too, which is nice. What is? Just the their sacrifices aren't so on the nose that it's almost boring. You know, because oh, yeah. no, Heidelin lined up all their purposes for living, so we could just have a big rehash of there, but he applied himself in a very heaven's word way that was enjoyable to watch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not just... Yeah, it's... It's very, it's very sure. I love yeah. It. I love it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I just, I respect the shit out of the game for having Alpha Note be the one to have a breakdown there. Uh... It's, again, it's that, like, that, well, going all the way back to Heaven's Word. That hits, like, more than hearing, like, the theme in the background to a certain point. It, it, <laughs> it, 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 in a way, it accomplishes more, even though it's subtle by comparison. I mean, it's my favorite expansion, so the dragon speak, the music, like, it's a an excellent motif, instantly recognizable in the pantheon of Final Fantasy XIV. It's where I really started to love the game. It's where I went from liking to like being like, oh shit, I'm very into this. State the fog that covered the island in the air no longer feels quite so stifling. Yeah. As by the beating of mighty wings doth wind blow, where dragons may ne'er again touch the sky, he and the shade he bore shall soar free. Must this always be the price paid for safe passage? Kind of feeling like that, Yishtola. Yep. What had to be done. What? Yeah. Oh. This what? is bonus, I guess. What is this? Well, the quest is right there, so let's make sure we get the windy confluence. Uh, manifest before I think you. we use it after we talk to Alpha. Yeah. Interesting. Look there. The wind. This is Estinian's doing, I'm sure of it. We should ride its flow and see where it leads. All right. You ready? Let's flow. Together? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can time it out. Oh, oh no, no, no. I huh? mean, do you want to... Are you saying flow together? Yes. Yes, that too. Okay. Three, two, one, flow. Together. Oh, that looks pretty good on my screen. Oh, oh perfect. Perfect. Nice. Nice. Oh, that was that was handsome. Oh, uh, destinate. Powerful gale has delivered you to another island. Though the other scions should arrive before long. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I didn't know there was a wait. Oops, shit. That was fast. Yes, it was. He... He did it. He found a way forward for us. Ooh. The dragons remained trapped within a prison of their own making, lamenting the horrors of war. Yet, Astinian knew them better than most. He was a man of honor and a dear friend, willing to fight to the very end for what he believed was right. And he's still fighting Alphano, just like Thancred. Dude, the music. Their sacrifices are why we can survive here, why we still have a chance to stop her. Even in spirit, they're un- Unwilling to give in to despair, and we mustn't either. Alize is right. We must press on for their sake.
This is hitting. Strong resolve amongst the science. Yeah. All right. Nothing to it but to do it. All right. Alpha no time. Alpha no time. Oh shit, Kyle. Road's paved. There it is. Alpha no has regained his composure and is ready to proceed. As Justola and Alizé said, we must continue. Hmm. Notice the change in our surroundings? Perhaps this is the memory of an altogether different world. It would be prudent to learn more of it. Tread carefully, lest we lose our footing in the sand. Going in order. Are we in Stormblood now? Well, what would I mean? Stormblood would be Omega, right? Why would it be Omega? Because I have it in Stormblood. If you're going in order, I mean, who? Well, why would it be Omega instead of the multitude of other things it could be? What else happened in Stormblood that would have been from space? Well, why does it have to be from space? We're on sand. Makes me think of like Alamigo. What is this? Oh, you're a person. <laughs> Ooh, oh, we got a boulder. We oh, got, yes, we do. Uh, oh, we're getting closer to that crazy, like, blown-up planet. We got a little... What's he popping his head out? What's this crazy dude? Huh? What? Uh, this, like, angel thing in the back, but uh, a drifting Ea. Uh, he popped his head out. Is he, that, that thing has a head in there? He's oh. cute. Look at him. Oh. He's got little alien fingers, too. Uh, does it have a front? It does. Am I, am I it's got little eyeballs. Oh. Oh, that's a cool model. It's kind of like goo dripping. Yeah. Oh, so, sorry, sir. Oh. Sorry, sir. Don't kill it. It's adorable. Oh, oh, well. Well, Kyle. The leash. It's okay. Sorry, drifting ya. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Checking on Alize out here. Sand everywhere, she says. Yishtola can see just fine. Alphano says, if not for the light emitted by these glyphs, I might have well overlooked this moment. And Braha calls it another seemingly barren world. All right. All right What's we're going to hurry. Yeah. Were it not for the violet crystal embedded in its surface, it would appear as ordinary stone. A curious script hath been etched upon them. Alas, it is not a language with which I am familiar. I cannot say I recognize it either. Nor I. The dragons, from what I recall, preserve their knowledge in song and skew the written word entirely. So we may assume this is a work of another race, one which we have yet to encounter. Meteon claimed the dragon's world suffered a slow death, seeking the release of oblivion. What life we find here, like as not, doth wend its way towards a similar end. Hmm. All right, Alze says. What do you suppose that is over there? I'm not. Oh, <laughs> pardon me. Are you saying you get out? I got him confused. confused. Pardon me. How dare you? I'm not sure. It's hard to make out at this distance, but its surface seems to bear the same crystals as this monument. Meaning, there's a chance we may find whoever built them both. We should go and have a look. Come on. And another one. Get it? No. 
dude from close to that planet above us. That looks sweet. Yeah. It's pretty dope. Yeah, see, they pop their little heads out. Oh, crap. Oh. You would destroy them? Their beautiful world? Their beautiful orb? So ghoul pools. Oh, we Ooh. get to talk to one. Oh, a little ghostly figure. Hello. Hey, bud. What's up? Now there's pondering orb jokes in the chat, and I love it. Uh, should I ghostly figure? Or should you ghostly figure? <laughs> oh, it's so hard to choose. How would you ghostly figure? Now I'm just oh, curious. How would I ghostly figure? I don't know. It's hard to yeah. The little shaky dudes. You win. I'm Chris or I got Halloween. Hey Double Traveler. This is the most unexpected occurrence. <laughs> Just don't end up sounding like Mickey. Don't get stuck in <laughs> I Mickey. I won't, I won't, I won't. Um oh hello there. Is this your home? Indeed it is. Ah, oh, forgive me. I have forgotten. An exchange of introductions is expected when you first meeting those among whom you is unacquainted. I'm also just making up words. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. There it is, see? That is strange. When the vibrations of vocal folds still required to convey our thoughts in intention here, I believe, was the pronunciation used when referring to our people. Though it is not entirely applicable given our privileges and state, you are welcome to use this appellation? I would I would go with uh, like the mountains? But it's not at all how you spell it. Uh appellation? App yeah, appealing nature basically. Yeah, I, I look at it and I say appellation. As for our nomenclature to address my individual person, I believe you could call me Cough Cod. Cough Cooge? Cough Cood. Cough Cooge. Cough Cood. I'm just going to call you Cough. Yes, Cough Cood of the ER. We have encountered beings that communicate intermittently through thought but never one that is wholly without voice. I presume we are having this conversation via the medium of ether or dynamis, as the spaces suffuse with vast quantities of it. Fascinating in either case. I mean, that's how we talk to, or, well, sometimes that's how we talk to Medion. I gather your response to my presence is positive then. That is well, or there is something I wish to ask you. Just no warning, it just it comes like yourselves. <laughs> suddenly. We are ether beast life forms, therefore it may be surmised that your bodies are uh. of comparable biological composition to those that we once possessed. I have a number of queries regarding your subjective perceptions of the five senses, sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell. Good theming. In, in total, I have prepared 198,712,108,827. Okay. Uh, that's rather a lot, isn't it? Ah, my apologies. I have omitted a great many details necessary to understand the nature of my request. Though we dispensed with the archipelago vessels long ago, we have recovered a need for the flesh and have endeavored to recreate our erstwhile forms. However, our pertinent records have been lost due to the passage of time. Take, for example, the nervous system. It is well within our power to recreate but we have no frame of reference for sensations once experienced by our people. 
which may compromise our ability to interact with our physical environment. And the reason you need to regain corporeal forms? To kill. <laughs> Why? To bring it into existence, of course. To our existence. No. Oh, oh, that's really sad. <laughs> I don't think either of us expected this much. No, he has a lot to say. Though need of our perhaps too strong a word, it will be a simple matter to unmake ourselves through use of etheric exsanguinators. That's a cool word. But such a death seems inadequate. The traditionalist among us believe proper death requires an inescapable sense of impermanence to one's final moments. Our experience found only with bodies of flesh. Okay, we're just we're just diving into a new voice. We would very much like to hear more of your plans. In exchange, we will answer any questions you have to the best of our abilities. Mm, such an exchange of information would be indeed prove useful. Very well. To ensure efficacious exchange, I hereby invite you to our home. Yes, the abode of the ear, where we traditionalists prepare for our demise. I presume you're content to answer questions as indicative of tactic approval of our plan, in which case... Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. I must caution you, however, to be mindful of the ears wandering in the desert. Their desire for bodies of flesh could be described as overzealous. Now, if you would follow me. This is going rather smoothly. Not that I'm complaining, mind. Even so, we mustn't forget their, uh, their aim is oblivion, much like the dragons. Though I fail to see why a civilization so seemingly advanced would choose to unmake all that they have created. At any rate, we will find no answers dallying here. Let us be on our way. Chat. Applause and chat for the <laughs> Kyle Ferguson show. <laughs> <laughs> or that man just had to read everything. I loved where that little ghost went. From goofy being to, oh my god, it's it's attempting to destroy itself. It's adorable in attempting to, to destroy itself. Oh no, it has despair. Yep. The hollowed flesh. That was a lot. What a trip. Sircardo, thanks for uh, gifting 20 memberships during during all that. <laughs> we will take that as uh, implication that you love that voice and would like Kyle to do it for all characters from now on. Um, I'm sorry, Kyle. Mm. I don't make the rules. Yeah, it's been voted for. Yeah, I don't make the rules. That's how it goes. Would you like me to take over for a bit since it appears all of your other characters are also speaking? Um, I'm doing okay at the moment. I mean, right. granted, we've, we've kind of made a back line here that might be you, but let's see if Alphano gets involved. We'll go from there. Okay. Welcome to our abode. Most of our compeers you will find remain idle in their domiciles. Though your quizzical expressions indicate my phrasing is unclear. I speak, of course, of the violet crystalline structures hanging from the stone structures there. You say they remain idle, but what of your work to regain corporeal bodies? An astute question, and understandable, given your finite nature. We have no desire to pursue our research, for it is no longer necessary. If, in our idleness, we are struck by sudden inspiration, we rise to pursue said inspiration to its conclusion. That is why I have, I was, excuse me, that is why I was present for your arrival, 
and why I continue to engage with you still. But while the others are not currently in modal states. Modal? I don't know. I'm not familiar with that word. You rest don't. assured, <laughs> they would not object to you to, do, to disturb their respite. You need only cast your thoughts towards one of the crystalline domiciles to communicate. Huh. No, no one, no one has any other question. Okay, all right. We're gonna go talk to these hanging crystals. One like equals one minute of Mickey voice. We didn't agree to that, Capgano. <laughs> we didn't agree to that. Crystalline domicile. Shall we go in order so we're together, I guess? Yeah. Uh, we're tuning? Okay. Well, we're tuning a radio. You cast your thoughts towards the crystalline domicile, but there is no response. Okay. Interesting. You? You wish to speak? Very well. Pray a moment, if you would. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, they're gonna pop out. You know, we're just waking everybody up. I saw birds in Animal Kingdom this week that build their nests inverted, hanging from tree branches. Oh was, yeah, those are cool. Uh, I I had never been in that trail before at Animal Kingdom. It was very cool. Why we seek our end? <laughs> if you wish to know, I will tell you. <laughs> Just a moment, I must remember. What form did I take when last I am oh, I love that they just went for it. I was so bothered. I'm going to bring up Mass Effect Andromeda, so pardon me. Oh, but oh no. I was so bothered when the aliens had chairs. We go to another galaxy and the aliens own freaking normal benches. I was livid. <laughs> I'm just happy they're like, let's meet an alien civilization. What do they live in? Crystal hanging boogers. <laughs> and what do they do? Well, they want to die. But they shoot their heads out and fly around, you know? It's, they're just weird. <laughs> they're aliens, you know? They're understandable. It's not part of this world. It's, it's nuts. Kyle lives for nonsense. I desired great. If you if you promise me nonsense, I demand it happens. Okay. All right. <sighs> Strange moaning and comes and goes, but soon fades into silence. Well, you know what they say, Kyle. Yeah. If the crystals are rocking, don't come and knock it. Oh, oh my. Oh, we should probably attune to this thing over here. That could be a good idea. Oh, there's a fate over here. Ah. Pardon me, MSQ Scrubs, I got a farm! <laughs> oh, hell yes, that was gonna be my next question is, can you get a pet one of these? You attuned to the friends. Delightful. What is this track? All right, cough drop. I'm just vibing to the music for a second. Yeah, me too. That's what I was doing there. What is it? What? It, the music. It sounds familiar, but I can't place it. I mean, it's essentially music with no payoff. Yeah. Uh, There's no beat drop moment. No. All right. But I, that's I love, so I love point. calling him cough drop. All right. All right. Yeah. We're cough dropping. <laughs> Did your inquiries yield satisfactory responses? I see. If they fail to answer, then it is likely because their minds have been unraveled due to the prolonged idleness. They are not but concentrated ether now. Worry not, 
They are no, there are no others who would have of those lodgings, and they will not prove a hindrance to remain as they are. But more importantly, you said some few did answer your request for an audience, yes? I imagine they will be with us ere long. No way, no freaking way. There's no universe, that's where we stop. There's no universe. John! <laughs> Wait, John! Was it just like pop off then? What? Okay, okay, all right. Does it get too much to not stop after this is my only thought. That's my only thought. That's my only, trust John. Trust John. It just like, wait, I want to, I want to know what the boogers are up to. I want to know more about booger life. Great stopping point. Trust John. It gets to, to, okay. Yeah, no, this is right. <sighs> this is apparently this is correct. <laughs> that is bogus. I am, I am astounded that there's this much agreement in chat. That is amazing. I mean, we, we it is just two days away, a Thursday. Like, wow. That's it. Stop, oh her, stop her play for eight hours. Okay. Oh my goodness. That, that tracks. <laughs> that tracks. Oh my goodness. That tracks. We, we were warned that there was basically no good stopping point unless you wanted to stream for like 16 hours or something crazy. Holy moly. So. All right, cough drop. You've intrigued me. I've always had very calm responses when folks have been like, how do you stop? When we're stopping to do a video, it's super easy for me because there's so right. much work that has to go into the video. Right. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't even know what to make a video about, to be fair. No, I have no video. I would not want to make a video no, right now. No, I have no video to make about this. No, I'm, I am. I just want to, I want to, I'm in it now. I am curious to go back and rewatch the Heidelin lines to each character and see how they line up with their sacrifices. But currently, I'm very happy that they don't line up exactly with their sacrifices because what they believe draws them to survive is not necessarily what you would do for others and what your sacrifice would be. It'd be kind of flat. It'd be repetitive. So I like what they're exploring here. Also, it's interesting. Now, now our first example was really off the beaten path. Here, let, let, let's go middle. Let's go middle. Engage camera three. It takes a moment. Engaging camera three. Engage camera three. Engage, engaging camera three. Um, could you hand me the shit? Shitboard is yours. Shitboard. By the power of shit keyboard. By the power of shitboard. By the power of shit keyboard. <laughs> and whatever Zord the Lopris summoned there <laughs> in our launch sequence. All right. All right. Um, oh, what? Oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry. I'm kicking the shit out of the desk. I didn't. It was, it was my knee. I have, Kyle is all, I have all power, limbs. powerful knees. He's nothing but limbs. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, first of all, what a weird thing to lead with in your... Weird camera? For, how is... It looks fine to me. Hmm? They're saying the camera frame is weird? Or, um, I mean, maybe because this is chilling here, but we have music going. So maybe. You know, this is, camera... Yeah, I don't... I don't pull cameras at 60 FPS because that's weird. This is this is Lee. Um, oh, it might be on 24 from the thing we shot last night. Oh, that's fair. We usually oh. do 30. So yes. Okay, it is slightly lower. Okay. Yeah. It, it's all good. It's not. It's, the human eye can't even perceive that. So don't worry about it's it. It's 24 FPS. Okay. Um. So first of all, what a weird beginning to your tapestry of despair by making it be slightly caused by an outside source but also them giving up it's funny how with Vanaz's line of 
this ether soaked star i was like oh yeah your theorist is special you know we don't give despair because we have ether and we've got like we're awesome we're special and instead it's like nope just put that in the trash dragons had ether in the ground there were alien invaders that helped cause despair so it wasn't that people just like give up in space and you had special shielding because of space energies it was just war but then they gave up on top of it and midgard stormer didn't and it and it, it makes medion's activity that much more accusatory and villainous whereas i was expecting her to be more of like a unstoppable force of nature yeah, I, not I am inevitable Thanos, but essentially despair is inevitable. I am embodying this despair that is inevitable, but instead she seems like more of an active accuser, more of a villain, frankly. Oh, yeah. And then showing up and like taking the form of the dragon to mess with everybody. Perhaps that might have been, I mean, she definitely. Well, it even seems like the different medians might have slightly unique personalities because the one we dealt with said, I have no memory of you. Yeah. But I know you're from Aetherus. So you must have met one of my sisters, like goes that far. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. It's a bird girl. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't have much thoughts other than I can't wait for Thursday. Agreed. I don't have much to say. Agreed. Um. So we will be starting three hours early on Thursday. Yep. Which is five. People are claiming it'll be 12 hours. I don't believe with the research that John did on her behalf that from this point to the end took most streamers 12 hours. I don't think John would have signed us up for some vile trickery. That said, that you are the king of, of optional dialogue, so it can take longer with us. I mean, I am, like, I really appreciate everyone being so kind about it. I am also willing to new game plus and just see it again. And that might be a choice. Well, if we and keep, if silence keep dripping off, there won't be nearly as much. That's true. I mean, that is true. It is getting less and less as we go on. So I could also go back and click it, but uh, I assume that. Yeah, I think on the higher end of seven hours was the average we were given by people we trust that. Yeah. Kind of took, a, I believe they looked at other streams and kind of guesstimated um, points so that they could suggest same streams for us. Also, as there's no video points selected by the MS Curator here, I'm assuming there won't be any interruptions. It, long, prolonged cooking moments as we just get to the damn end. No, Let's and, keep playing. And John and Jesse have both kind of hinted that they didn't think, knowing what we like to talk about, that there'd be any cooking. That it would we get to this point and just kind of want to see yeah. it through. And it appears they're right, because I really would like to see this through. So, yeah, we will be back Thursday. This is going to be the longest 24 hours. Yeah, we got a lot to do during that time. Yeah. Lots of little things. I guess technically 48 hours from this exact moment. Oh, right, it is. Yeah, yeah it is fine. Uh, will not be the same time. The stream is already up. Um, if you're new to YouTube streaming, you can schedule streams. We do schedule our streams. It's already up. Kyle's got a link. He'll be posting a chat right now. There you go. There's some link spam from the Grinding Gear account. Uh, we will be live on Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So we'll, we'll go live then. Naturally, as we've talked about already, we will be having Jesse Friday come by for a chat. So when we hit that end, I expect us to be blubbering useless messes. Maybe from the hours. Maybe from what happened. Probably. I expect we will break for food at some point. There will be a dinner break during that stream, but we will not stop the stream. So know that there is a full platoon yeah. schedule behind that of Jesse coming by Friday, Tuesday being that super forum where we're going to rewatch all of this, talk about what happened with y'all, with your supers that you sent during this. And of course, uh, Monday, we're having Amanda on. That'll be really fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a big week. I'm really excited to have some post and Walker thoughts or well, post 6.0 thoughts. Yes. So. Uh, yeah. Um, thank you, everybody. Um, this feels properly finale. Um, I just want to keep playing. We'll see you Thursday. GG, y'all. Bye, everybody.